evening, everyone. Hey, what's up, Plush? <coughs> what's up, Voidy? Hopefully, hopefully everyone's having a good weekend. Let me check and see if... Oh, hey, what's up, Ray? What is up, Ray? Let me go check and see if, uh, if the stream's smooth and all that. The stream's running fine, isn't it? Let me see. Hey, what's up, Ray? What's up, Voidy? What's up, Plush? There you go. Yeah, it looks like the stream's working okay. Hey! Uh-oh. It's so good. I never really had it much growing up, but this past Thanksgiving, my mom made some... It was... Oh my god, yes! Oh my gosh. Void, yes. I love... I... I... Every Thanksgiving hey! that I went to... Um... Oh my god! Oof. Oh my god, is that your welcome fart? What did you eat? Scheming, what did you eat? Oh my god, oof. Oh my god, oof. Oh, oh man, did you go... Did you go visit Esperanza in Great Britain and you brought uh, some of the Great Britain's fog with you? Did you let out some Great Britain frog? Oh, or is Esperanza with you and she brought out... She uh, let out some Great Britain fog out of... <laughs> Oh my god, ooh. Scheming, ooh. Hey, what's up, scheming? Scone fart? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, what's up, scheming? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we had a, we had a, I had a really funny, uh, I uploaded a funny clip from yesterday onto my TikTok. Uh, we were, we were making, well, we were laughing about Metroid's grandma rolling down the hill. I, I think you saw it. I think you saw it in the Discord server. Oh, man, I love... <laughs> the other TikTok clip that I clipped for, about Esperanza's farts, it, they, we got a lot of views. I actually ended up getting a lot of views on at the Esperanza fart clip uh, on TikTok. So we'll see if the, if the Metroid uh, grandma falling down clip is going to do well, too. But the this one is actually a uh, um, is actually a banger the the Esperanza fart one. <laughs> but yeah, hey scheming, hey everyone. Uh, what have uh, have you all had a good uh, weekend so far? Oh my gosh, not much. Just getting around to uh, things this weekend. Yeah, you did. Oh no, I'm going to have to tell her she's famous for her farts. Yes, her great. She's the one, she's the one who causes, um, she's the origin of the Great Britain flo uh, fog. You know, the New England, uh, the England fog, the London fog. That's where all, all the farts are coming from. Uh, all the, uh, that's where the Great, uh, the, the London fog is coming from her. It's coming from Esperada. <laughs> As sort of. Oh my gosh. But yeah. <laughs> oh, and also Void. Green bean casserole is one of my favorite dishes. It's one of my most favorite dishes. Uh, what I, you know how usually people just leave the green beans uncut? What I do is I actually cut all the green beans into pieces. I just I just chop them up all into small pieces because that's how I like them. I like them already chopped up so you can chew them easier. So I want so I I mean I recommend I recommend chopping them up instead of leaving them in big pieces because it's harder to scoop them up if they're if they're whole. Instead of like being instead if they're in whole pieces like if they're not if they're not cut up It's hard to uh, scoop them up. It's better if, for me at least It's better for me to just chop them all up into small pieces. It also looks better that way I think the presentation looks better that way too, uh, Void. So I definitely reckon. Oh man green beans one of my favorites. I Love green bean casserole It's been so cold outside. I have been in bed most of the day it's going to warm up a bit more next week. Oh, I see, I see, scheming. Yeah, we. Uh, I went to go see Knock at the uh, Knock at the Cabin. I went to go see Knock at the Cabin earlier today in the morning, and I'd say Knock at the Cabin's a decent movie. Uh, it's not like the best Shyamalan movie I've seen, but it's not the worst either. It's probably his best since Split. Let's just put it that way. Um. I would. I initially was going to give it an eight out of ten, but then I gave. I, I decided not to give it an eight out of ten. It went with the seven out of ten as well. The seven out of ten because he had his issues. He had issues with this movie. 
Just like all of his other movies, he, he has issues. Uh, he's just not really good with dialogue. He doesn't really know how to come, come up with really natural sounding dialogue. And then, um, and then, um, I would, it could easily be a 6 out of 10 film. It could easily be a 6 out of 10 film, but I decided to give it a 7 out of 10 because I actually did like it. It actually really related to me because, you know, I'm gay too. So, yeah. <laughs> um, oh yeah, for sure. It's the kind of food you just want to shovel into your mouth. Like, I just, you just need a, a you know, a dump, dump truck shovel and just shove it in my mouth too. That's how much I can eat. Yeah, hopefully you guys are having a good weekend, enjoying your weekend. I had my, I enjoyed mine a, little, uh, a bit. Did it have the classic M Night uh, twist? Yes, it did. Oh, it had several twists. I, I had like at least three twists along the movie. You didn't know uh, what what direction M Night Shyamalan's going, uh, heading in. So yeah, it you don't know what 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 he's gonna do. Yeah, it had its tweets. It for sure did. What am I doing? Okay, what am I doing? I'm trying to remember what I'm supposed to be doing. But I, I, I do recommend watching it. It's just, uh, well, I'd say watch it on stream. Watch it on a stream. Don't go out in the movie theaters and watch it. Just watch it whenever uh, it's uh, out on streaming services. I wouldn't say it's like the be the best M Night Shyamalan film because I actually the last good Shyamalan film that I've seen was Split. I actually enjoyed Split. Uh, I I saw Glass. It was all right. Uh, it wasn't his best either. I saw I saw Old. Old wasn't that good. No, but I liked the twist in Old. <laughs> so I mean I M Night Shyamalan is talented. It's just that uh, he's. He's not talented in other areas like, you know, dialogue and maybe directing. I don't know. You just got back to the other world. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I remember I remember that. I just don't I'm not I'm just not sure whether I should go back or not. Yeah. And I guess I have to go uh check up on um uh... Oh. Hey man, sorry. Only residents of Arnie are allowed to go allowed through here. They're all, they're all taking shelter from the evils of surgeons, minions. Really? I can't go there. They're all taking refuge at the village chiefs. I've been told not to let outsiders through. It'll be the, it'd be the end of us if one of Surge's minions were to make its, its way in. Oh, that's kind of crazy. What's going on? So Surge, once he took over, um, once you know, Lynx took over Surge's body. Now this shit's happening. He's trying. He's trying to like you know, take over the El Nido Archipelago. So where do I need to go now? I still need to go get that Poem Girls book. I don't know how to do that. We'll have to. We'll probably have to figure that out in the second playthrough. Oh yeah, this part. Well, I, I finally get to fight these these monsters now. I finally get to fight them. I always I always forget whether you can actually fight them or not because you never get to fight them until now. These are shadow cats. Let's go auto battle. Oh, scheming, scheming. Um, uh, are you are you there right now? Are you are you, are you still in chat right now, scheming? Okay. I was just I was just curious about the progress of the of the emo is all. So yeah, just wondering. <laughs> I know, I know, life can be hectic. These shadow cats are taking a long time to beat. 
It's going fine. It should be work. I should be working on it tonight. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Skeevy. Awesome. I've been telling everyone. I've been telling everyone how 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 amazing the emote looks. Oh my god, it looks fucking good. Seriously, seriously, guys, Skeevy is very talented. Oh my god, like the emote that that we're uh, that he, that he's working on. It looks amazing. It looks fucking good. And he hasn't even shaded. He hasn't, he hasn't even added shadows or lights yet. It still looks fucking amazing. Oh my god. Hey! Yeah, I showed someone the new emote and they liked it. I love it. I love it, Skeeming. I fucking love it. It was such a good idea to combine both, uh, you know, Zelda and Mario and then that Mario character together. I am I am so excited to see to see the uh, end result. Oh my god. <laughs> are, you, are you gonna are you gonna cut it in half like well, like we're uh like I was t uh we're um talking about? Are you gonna cut it in half? Hey. Yeah, I think it's better than the other one to be honest. But they but hey, you get free updates on my designs. Right, right. Yeah, I think we're yeah. I feel like that's gonna be possible. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut it in half. I'm excited. I'm excited to see the end result. Oh my god. It looks freaking good. No, but seriously, seriously, Skeeman, your 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 art is, is you're very talented. Oh my god, I can never draw something like that. And I took art! I took art in middle and high school too. I can never draw something like that. see. Do I need to go over here? No, I don't need to go over here. I'm sure you can with just a little practice, right? I'm rusty. That does not look rusty at all. That does not freaking look rusty. I mean, of course we had to make some adjustments, but even after we made the adjustments, like the hands, it looks amazing. Oh my god. You're, that is not does that does not look rusty to me. One week I'm pumping out a full Spamton paint, and another week I'm like trying to recalculate my brain. I see. I know. I know. Cause with life, you get really stressed out. I get that. Uh oh, are the poor army taking over? Currently, we have suspended all economic activities in Termina. We have left only the element shop alone, but that smith is a stubborn one. He will not close shop for anything. Of course, the bar over there has been shut down as well. We're pretty thorough when we need to be, you know. Not that anyone would want to go drinking at a time like this, but just in case. I think I'm supposed to go... I don't remember where I'm supposed to go in this game. Can you guys hear the game okay? Let's see. Yeah, let me, if I have to, let me go raise it up a little bit. Maybe that'll, that'll sound better. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. No trespassing. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? I don't really know. I don't know. I don't really know where to go. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? One second. I'm gonna clip that. <laughs> We have information that this blacksmith makes weapons for the Dragoons. There's no use hiding it. We hereby order you to halt all operations and stand down the fire of that forge. Hey! Did you understand that? Ah! Stop it! That's dangerous! A craftsman's workshop is a dangerous place for a layman. 
It's your own damn fault for coming near it. Besides, what need do I have to listen to your orders? I'll take no orders from ye. Be gone with ye, for I've work to finish. So you're not going to stop no work. You're, so you're not going to stop working no matter what. Don't make me tell you the same t thing twice. I've got a short temper. If you can what I said, then get yourself out. Very well. If that is her answer, I'll ta I take it. Hey, what's up, Frodo? Are pirate voices the same as I I? Are, are pirate voices like similar to Irish voices? Are pirate accents similar to Irish accents? Because I've been, because I, 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 he gives off an Irish vibe, but then whenever I try to do his voice, it sounds kind of piratey, but whatever. I will let you go this time, but do not think that we will overlook this a second time. Yeah, but whatever, asshole. Oh, I think we're going to recruit Zappa. Pirates have accents of wherever they're from. Yeah, true. But usually the usual accent that you hear in TV is like very... It, it sounds kind of Irish, I guess. That's why I love this man. What a mainly man he is. Alright, I've got to do my part as well. Will, be all, will we be alright? After Master said something like that to a poor soldier? Jeez, he is such a blockhead. I did not care who tells me. I'm no gonna stop working. Ooh, what a man. Ooh, he doesn't listen to anyone. Pierre's like, ooh, ooh, I'm Pierre, ooh. Oh my god, look at Pierre's, look at Pierre's uh, new portrait. Oh my god. Swordsmanship is as beautiful as a rose. The rouge, the rouge? Oh, it's rouge, right? The rouge ambition hidden beneath its beauty. Ah, oh, these words fit more perfectly. Oh, pardon me, Mons uh, Monsieur. Moi forgot to introduce myself. I don't think he's French. I don't think he's French. I think he's pretending to be French. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna. He's still gonna say French words, but he's, but he's gonna talk in a more American accent. I think he's just pretending to be French. Mon name is Pierre. I am renting this room from M Monsieur Zappa. The poor military shall surely greet moi with the hero's welcome into their arms. Okay, whatever, freak. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he comes off as French to me, even though his name is Pierre. Who the who the fuck likes Pierre anyway? I don't fucking like Pierre. Oh shit! I should have brought a uh, van with me. Man, let's go get Van. Or Vaughn, whatever. Oh, wrong way. I think I'm supposed to get yeah, here this way. Na 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 let's go get Van. Let's go put him in this party, and then we'll go ahead and uh, have him talk to a uh, rich version of the van <laughs> and go. Okay, that's enough, like, um, that's enough <laughs> attempted singing for today. Young master, you shouldn't be out. You shouldn't be going out at a time like this. I'll be scolded by the master. Young master? Ben, what's the matter? It's quite uncommon of you to pay a, pay me a visit in my room. Dad, wow, you're fat. You must be eating some really good food. <laughs> what are you talking about? You've been eating just as well. Hmm? Is that a piggy bank I see in the bag? I see you finally realized the importance of saving. Father is so pleased. But with something so small, you won't be able to fit much in there, will you? Here, I'll give you a bigger one. Man's piggy bank, piggy bank got bigger. 
thanks. In return, I'll give this to you, Dad. I mean, Father. What's this? That's strange. It looks rather familiar. It's my treasure, but I'll give it to you, Father. I think Mom would have liked that. Mom? Although it's cracked and you can't hear waves in it, it's bringing back all my memories. The morning Van was born, the first word he ever spoke, the tears in her eyes when she heard him speak. Back then I was full of happiness and passion. I might have forgotten something very important along with this cracked steel seashell. That's so sad! All these regrets people have. Like, in one dimension, people have regrets, and in the other dimension, people are like... They still have regrets! <laughs> Every dimension has regrets! Oh, let's go talk to the other band. Oh! Oh, here he is! Here he is! Oh my god. The soldiers are all dawdling around here. I wonder what is happening. I guess there are, if the, I guess there are problems in any world you go to. Hey, me! Let's both try to live up uh, to our best. My goodness, you look like me. Could you be a doppelganger? If so, am I going to die and go to heaven soon? What are you talking about? So you are not. Haha, -ha. then you must be father's illegitimate son. Normally, this would be a tearful reunion or some such thing, but I am not a dullard. I know this guy's me, but it hurts my head knowing see, he's such a blockhead. How dare you? What do you mean, blockhead? Oh well, keep working on your paintings. I'll take care of all the dirty work. I do not comprehend what you're saying, but best of luck to you two. That's pretty cool. I haven't, I haven't like, man, I really need to go look for everyone's counterparts in the next playthrough. I, don't, I, I feel like the software update should have fixed the, most of the, um, the, 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 um, what's it called? The, um, choppiness. Let's go read his fortune. Let's go read his, let's read all of our fortunes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Links. You've not, you're not dead or anything, are you? Has anybody called you back from the great beyond? Hmm. For some reason, I just can't read your future. Take good care of the ones who love you, my boy. <laughs> Ooh, Har what about Harls? In your eyes, I perceive both the look of a beauty and the look of a beast. Be mindful not to bring about your own end. The truth is beginning to reach out, to engulf you. Oh yeah, let's go talk to the trail person. Just when I thought business was coming along, the poor guy's storming. Kid named Surge attacked, and it's a mess. Oh man, I think I came in at the, at the wrong time. Uh-oh. So... I don't know. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to go back to the Viper Manor. Maybe that's it. This manor is now occupied by the poor military. I have my orders not to let anyone through. Or not. Or not. Hmm. I don't remember what I was supposed to be doing in this game. So let's see. I don't want to look up a guide, but I feel like I should be... Re yeah, I used to be able to remember what to do in this game when I, when I was a kid. I used to remember where to go exactly. Now I don't anymore, unfortunately. I don't want to go all the way into the Shadow Forest and find out that's not supposed to be where I'm supposed to go. Oh man, this game. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. I think I'm supposed to go here to the fisherman. And then he'll take me to the water scot. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Or not. Just kidding. Sorry if I'm silent here. I'm researching another Deltarune rabbit hole. Ooh, on YouTube or Reddit? No worries, no worries. So yeah, I feel like M. Night Shyamalan, he's like... His... I, I, I feel like he wants to do his own thing. He doesn't really want to, like, you know, um, give in to Hollywood's demands. So that's why the movies that he's made are pretty original, pretty creative, but then at the same time, they're kind of bad sometimes. I mean, I do respect him that he does his own thing. He, he's bad. He wants to maintain his, you know, his creativity. But at, but at the cost of, like, being self-indulgent, sometimes it doesn't work that way. I do, I do appreciate his, his... His authenticity. Nah, speculations about bow tie and tennis. Bow tie and tennis? What about that? These graphs and schematics are coming, I wish, or something I wish I could understand, but my brain cannot. Oh, I see. Bow tie schematics. Or bow tie antennas. What the fuck's that? I don't know where to go. I'll go this way. But this radiation pat, but the, but the radiation patterns are interesting as they form a clover leaf. I have no, <coughs> I do not know what's going, what you, what you're uh, referring to, but that sounds cool. There, I can switch places with them. It's been, it looks kind of lopsided. Or maybe I should just go ahead and visit some some of the dragons here. I'll just look up a guide. I'm gonna I'm just gonna look the, look up the guide. I, I give up. Let's see. Where's Miguel? Where's the Miguel fight? Here we go. Let's see. Arnie Village. Everyone here's holed up and gone to house. What else to do here? I thought, I thought I'd mention. Ooh, let's get a rainbow shell. Okay, let's go back. I'll just follow the guide. I'm just gonna follow it. Hey, what's up? Welcome back, Plush. Maybe you can help me. So, Plush, uh, feel free to backseat. Maybe you can help me with the game. Cause I don't I don't remember where to go. It's been so long since I played this game. I don't remember anymore. So, okay, so I got onto the discussion of Bowtie and Tenna's because the next boss is going to be Tenna, who is a TV, and there's a lot there's a lot of Bowtie imagery with spam tent and the speculation of the origin of that. Oh, I see, I see. Cool. Hello. I had to refresh what we what what we looking up. Oh uh, yeah, so we just beat Miguel, and then now we're back on the, um, another world. We're back in another world, so we're trying to figure out where we're to go next. <laughs> Plus the whole weird thing we got with every man and butterflies. It's a rabbit hole, the antennas are also known as butterfly antennas and cat whiskers. So do you think, switch my rainbow, so yay, do you think, uh, what's his name, Toby Fox is like, come, making, um, He's actually like doing this on purpose to make you to make people uh, hyped up and excited for the game. Take us on a guided tour of the island. Sup? What did you What did you do? And has it said what you need to do? Yeah. Sometimes the game tells you what to do, where to go. Right, right, right. Sometimes this tells you where to go. Knocking on death's door. Let me go save and see if it tells me anything new. No, it doesn't tell me. Okay, so. Fuck Miguel, he's low-key hot, but fuck the fashion. 
I know, he looks like a- he looks like a jungle explorer. He looks like a jungle explorer. Okay, so we need to go to Fossil Valley. Uh, and then we need to go to Termina. Okay. Oh! Huh. Radio. radio. What's going on with that radio? radio. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we need to go to here, to Termina. Here we go. Who is it? You are. Just wait right there. I'll unlock it for you. Okay, never mind. I think I figured it. Kind of figured it out now. Here, go in from the left side. I feel that I might have met you before. Sorry, but I can't remember. Go in from the left side? The left side where? Oh, here we go. Let's see. Yeah, Miguel... <laughs> when I first played the game, when I first played this game, Miguel it took me so many tries. But now that I know what to do, and now that and we have two moon glasses, the Miguel fight's a lot easier. Toby is really good with word plays and callbacks, so I wouldn't put it past him. Like the man shoved a whole ass radioscope image in one track. Oh my gosh. So you beat Miguel out, got out, and what's happening since then? Oh, the dragon saved you and told you to fight the dragons, right? Oh, you have to save the them. Get Karsh. That, that, this is opinion. Hi, boy. I have returned from the store. Oh my gosh, you can you better take pictures. You better take pictures of your green bean casserole. I wanna see that shit, Void. I wanna see that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I I, I know that we have to save the dragons, but I'm trying to get my boat back. I'm trying to get my boat back in the in another world. So that's what I was trying to do. I know I know that we we need to save the dragons, but I'm trying to figure out how to save the dragons in, in this part of the uh, in this in the netherworld as well. So Oh yeah, I love Karsh. Oh yeah, we're we're definitely picking Karsh. We're definitely picking Karsh uh, uh, plush. He's my he's actually one of my most favorite characters. Oh man, he is even though he's not my type, I love Karsh. He's one of my favorites. Miguel, I was like, yo, Delph, low fucking eternity and dad shorts. Mmm, green bean casserole! I know I know, oh yeah. Believe me, I love me my green bean casserole. I love me I love me my fucking uh, broccoli, rice, and cheese casserole. I love me my five cheese mac and cheese casserole. I love me my casseroles. Dude, I love taking him to Zappa. Oh my god. Oh yeah, me too. We need to, oh yeah, we need to do that. We need to do that. It's been a while, Lynx, or is it Surge? After we fought you guys, we also entered Fort Dragonia. Ooh, more, more exposition. Ooh. General. You're... He disappeared. Damn. This is bad. General, are you all right? Ugh. Riddell. Oh my God, Viper Man is still alive. Don't just stand there. Help the general. I cannot believe this would happen to the general. Like, I can't believe it. What in Dragoon's name happened here? Just imagine him sounding like this, but with the helmet on. So, like, what are all these shiny shards? Not now, we have to stop the bleeding. Marcy, you pick up those broken pieces. We brought the general to Hermit's hideaway and prayed for his recovery. He was able to escape death, but he still needs rest. <coughs> However, we can't leave the manor for too long. So we came back here, leaving Marcy behind to take care of him, only to find... The poor military had taken control of Termina. Damn it! What a shame! We knew what, we knew what was going on. The general talks in his sleep. Uh, yeah, Karsh is pretty, but I don't know about my type. 
His dad is, man, what's wrong with me, Eloy? Oh my god, girl, you like, you're like, I love, I love, uh, I love Miguel, I like Kosh, oh man, daddy's, uh, daddy, uh, Zappa, I, are you into daddy's plush? Are you into daddy's plush? Oh my god. I, I did not care, I like some dumb, and beef is nice, and sweet. And strong in character and on a mission. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I mean, okay. I love me some Zoa. I love some. I love me some big, 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 sexy, you know, muscular men with like giant beef. You know, giant, you know, slabs of meat. I mean, what? Um, but <laughs> yeah, I like um, Zoa's like kind of my type. I like him. Mm. I don't know what he look. I don't know what his face looks like, but he, it better be hot too. But um. I don't know. I like. I think. I think. I think Zappa's kind of hot too. And hey, what's up, Foggy? Oh my gosh, Foggy, long time no see. How's it going, Foggy? Hope you're doing okay over there, Foggy. Yeah, are you staying? Are you staying warm for the holiday season? And also, Foggy, I just. Um, I just went to go watch. A movie called uh, Knock at the Cabin earlier today. Have you guys seen Knock at the Cabin yet? It's it's M. Night Shyamalan's newest movie. I love characters that do stuff too. He's like, I see me self. Let's work on the shelf shelf thing. Kind of weird. I didn't I didn't care. Yeah, we're gonna have to recruit Zappa too to do that. I'm doing well. How are you? Also, accent. Hi, Foggy. Yeah, I've just been relaxing this weekend. Uh, trying to stay stay warm. Uh, got some uh, food earlier. Went to go watch Knock at the Cabin. I give no Knock at the Cabin at least a 7 out of 10. I was going to give it an 8 out of 10, but that's just from first impressions. I think after tempering my, impre my, my impressions, it's more of a 7 out of 10. It could easily be a 6 out of 10, but I still like Knock at the Cabin. I feel like Dave Pat uh, Batista, he's actually a pretty good actor. He's a really talented actor. Because I feel like with wrestlers... They don't want to be. They don't want to wrestle for the rest of their lives. So they. That's why they try to transition to acting because they know the pay is not that good with wrestling anyway. So it's. I. I don't blame them for wanting to go into acting. Hey, what's up, cooking? Absolutely staying warm. I have not, but I'm definitely. But I'm going to watch it. Oh, really? When are you going? <laughs> what movies have y'all been watching lately? What movies have y'all been watching? Maybe I like people, characters, I don't have to babysit, I, I don't have to babysit, oh my god. Batista, he's, okay, okay, I'm not gonna lie, there's some wrestlers who are pretty fucking hot. I'm not gonna lie, Dave Batista is pretty hot. I used to think, I used to think Goldberg was hot when I was a little kid, before I ever realized I was gay. I used to think Goldberg's pretty hot. Okay, John Cena, uh, I, th I think he's pretty cute, I think he's a cutie. I think he's a, he's, he's a cutie. I like his big ears. I like okay. I like guys with big ears, like the ones that stick out like that. They're cute. Uh, that, that that's endearing. I like that. So John Cena is pretty hot. The Rock, I'm never gonna find him hot. Even though he's really big, dude, I don't really find him hot. I, for some reason, I just don't find him hot. But John Cena is one of my. He's he's cutie. He's a cutie. Let's see. I'm definitely gonna watch it. Maybe um. But, um, WD, WWD, WWE at wrestling is basically acting anyway. Yeah, it is, it's, it's pretty much a soap opera. It's a male soap opera. It, it, it's acting, but then you have to be a really good actor to transition to act, into, into acting, though. It's so cold. Most recently, The Big Short. Oh, The Big Short? I, isn't that a movie from the 90s? I think I remember hearing about The, the Big Short in the 90s. I ain't seen shit, LOL. Last I saw was Wakanda Forever. I still haven't seen Wakanda Forever. What did you think about Wakanda Forever, Void? I mean, I liked I liked um, Black Panther. I liked the first Black Panther, but I don't know about uh, about this movie. If Chadwick Bo Bo uh, Boseman's not in it. I like Undertaker. You like Undertaker <laughs> plush? I don't know. I don't. I don't. That's the thing though with men with long hair. I don't. I don't. I get kind of turned off seeing men with long hair. Uh, from 2015, but I thought it was from this, the 90s as well. Yeah, the big short makes it sounds like it's from the 90s. I did not like Wanda, Wakanda Forever. Yeah, what was so bad about it? Yeah, I, I heard I heard mixed things about it. I heard it was good for the most part, but then there's some other things that are lacking. Lynx is behind this, correct? 
That bastard. He's not gonna get away with this. We've got some fault in all of this, so we've got so we gotta do something about it. But first, we gotta rescue Lady Riddell. She's being held captive at the manor, which the poor military has converted into their headquarters. Okay, now now we're now we're progressing in the story. Now we're progressing in the story. Hey, with your uniform, you can enter un un undetected, right? Let's join forces for the time being. It's not too late to go after him. One of us will remain here to collect info. The other will enter the manor. Let us meet afterwards. Oh yeah, the shards on the ground must have been pieces of the dragon tier. We've gathered as many as possible, but we don't have any have any use for them. You can have them. Links received tier of hate. Whom do you want to join? Karsh! Automatic Karsh! Karsh joins your party! It's funny how Karsh doesn't really have his mom and dad's accent, he just has like a normal American accent. Okay, sorry, sorry, Harl, but we're gonna have to bring my boy Karsh with us. Sorry, Harl. As much as I like Harl, I love Karsh even more. I love Karsh way more. He's my, he's, he's, I like him way more than, than Harl. We gotta, so this is actually my dream team. This is actually my dream team. We usually, I usually have, uh, Lynx, Karsh, and Starkey in my party. This is my dream team right here, guys. If, if, and if not, if not Karsh, it's gonna be, you know, Lynx, uh, Harl, and Starkey. But it doesn't make any sense to have two Black Element characters, though. It doesn't make any sense, though. But, <laughs> it, <laughs> but at this point, um... Now that I have a more, more balanced, uh, balanced, uh, party, this works better. Starkey! I know, I love Starkey! Let's see. I just cut my hair. I'm donating 10 inches of it. Uh, my wife is so happy. Wow, you have really long hair? Cookie, I didn't know that. I didn't know you have long hair. You're gonna donate to Locks of Love? That's awesome! I like it, guys and girls with big chests. It's the target of hugs. Oh my god. <laughs> I like, I mean, I like guys with big chests. Mm. Watch out. We have no idea what the poor military will pull off. I like guys with big, big chests, too. Anyway. <laughs> it was both a farewell to the actor that died and a step forward as far as the overall plot goes. So do you think there's going to be a Black Panther 3? You guys think there's gonna be a Black Panther 3 then? Great. Grats, how's it feeling? Ooh, it's so cold here, I wouldn't want to lose the warm. Yeah, the thing is though, when I when okay, even though I my hair may not be as my may not get as long as you your 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 guys' hair, even though it may not get as long, even though when it grows out, I hate it whenever it gets really hot. It makes my hair get really hot. Let's see. Short hair is so easy and carefree. Yeah, I I mean, look at my hair. It's really short. I like I like having short hair because during the summer it keeps me co cool. Karsh went out and got a job. Is out there more even in childhood. Let's just see what kind of forever show that the message non-white communities are absolutely dope and not in uh, hold on dope and not one-dimensional bad. It's not equally easy for Marvel to implement. For all non-white uh, communities, right? I see. Let's see. I feel bad for women who just have to have long hair. It's so much work. Oh yeah, I'm sure. You have to maintain it, make it, make it sure that it, the uh, that the that their hair is all silky and smooth all, all the time. I see. I see. Yeah, I, I get that. It, it looks like it's really high maintenance too. Starkey, grow big, Janice. It's a lot of work. Add curly, lol. 100%. Definitely. I shaved my head before I started growing it out, but it was winter and I was freezing. Wait, you shaved your head? When when did that happen? When did that happen? Uh, Plush. I did not. I don't remember seeing you having a shaved head. Uh oh. Then bring this boy Surge to me as soon as you find him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Why, Sir Lynx? Sir Lynx, where have you been all this time? We heard that you headed to Fort Dragonia with the General. Exactly what happened back there? There have been many strange occurrences since then. Perhaps you know of a boy named Surge. The man behind you is a is a case of Dragoon Dave Akarsh. Sir Lynx, you're in the middle of taking him to custody into custody, sir. Commander Norse, there's a there is an urgent message from command. What is it? Um, sir, it is a level two security message. Go ahead, take no heed. This man is one of us. Yes, sir. Grobeck has, has just arrived at the manor, sir. Hmm, he is quite ahead of schedule. Understood. I will return ASAP. Yes, sir. Sir Lynx, forgive me, but I must return to the manor at once. Please come to the manor a little little later. We will discuss this in more detail here. There. Uh-oh. I should go ahead and upgrade um, Karsh as well. No, wait, don't, don't stay there. Well, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Oh, cool. We have, a, we have one Alina now. I might as well just save on this one then. Am I silky, Uwu? Oh my god, you have some silky, you have some silky ass hair. It looks amazing, girl. It looks fucking amazing. It looks beautiful. It looks, it looks very engaged. It looks very engaged, girl. Get it? Ha 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 ha. Also, I'm so happy that I'll be going to the Ancient Egypt exhibit in SF next week before it closes! Oh, cool! Oh, cool! I actually live, um... I don't live very close to... Well, I mean, I live, like, let's see... I'm not, like... Um, well, it is... Uh, I'm not, like, very... F I'm not very far... I live in the Bay Area. I live in the Bay Area, but I don't live very far from the Bay Area. But there's an Egypt exhibit in, on next Saturday, next week. Oh, shit, I should go, too. Oh shit! Thanks for reminding me, Fog. Maybe I should go too, and go and go check it out. You you'll be going to ancient Egypt exhibit. That's awesome, Fog. <laughs> Maybe that's if I mean I have other plan. I might have other plans though, so we'll see. That's that's cool though. I I didn't even know I didn't even know that uh, San Francisco has a museum. I know they have, a, they have an Asian museum, but I didn't know that they have a museum museum. And well, it, it's until next Sunday, I believe. Oh, cool, cool. I'll have to check it out if I if, if I have time. Ooh, ancient Egypt. Ooh. I think that I think uh, recently they uncovered a new uh, king or something. A new Egypt Egyptian king. Well, not new, like in modern new, like it's like the new discovery. Before streaming, I have a pink LO. I don't think I've heard that term before like that. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, I was making a joke. Like, you know how fire, you your hair is like red and yellow, a uh, red and blue? It's red and blue like the Fire Emblem Engage character. That's that's what, I, that's what I was trying to make a joke out of. Uh, joke. Like, your hair is like the Fire Emblem Engage character's hair. That's what I meant. Let's go ahead and get all the elements out of... Um, Harl. Hey! Yeah, and they discovered a bunch of other graves as well. It's pretty exciting. Oh, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I I sometimes wonder, though, like, for the people who, um, who do these exhibits, I, w I wonder if, like, they believe in curses. I wonder if they believe in curses, though. It's hot pink, but I'm down, lol. Yeah, cause your your hair, cause, cause I think he said that um, you were trying to go, uh, trying to, you got inspiration from the um, from the Fire Emblem Engage game, right? Something like that. That character is so cute and vibrant. Like, yeah, you did, right? Cool, cool. Yeah, that's an interesting question. Yeah, cause like you, I don't, I don't know if I believe in curses, but like it's kind of scary to think that you just take these things out of, you know, out of a. Uh, out of the, these graves in ancient Egypt, and then, like, aren't you concerned that you might get cursed? You know? Let's see. 
think I got some from here. Maybe free fall. Maybe we need a cure plus as well. Oh, we need to recover all. Maybe... Maybe we don't need Graviton. Maybe Electro Jolt. Just even though he's a green element. But yeah, I, I, I need to go look up what the big short's all about, because I, I, that sounds like an interesting movie to watch. What made you interested? What made you interested in that in that Egyptian uh, exhibit anyway, Foggy? What made you want to go watch that, or go look at it? I didn't even, and I didn't even know you. Uh, well, I'm not sure if you're visiting the Bay Area, or are you, do, or do you live in the Bay Area? If you don't mind my asking, if you don't, if you don't want to answer, that's fine. If you don't want to answer, that's fine. But that that just made me wonder. Which one can I put for here? Maybe diminish? Yeah. Magnify? Yeah, there we go. What about level 7, though? Um, now, this has been my look for years. I, st I stray by comeback. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, then everybody started doing it, and I'm like, eh, well, it's a good combo. Oh, you're a trailblazer! You're a trailblazer, girl! You're like... I did it first. <laughs> You're like, I did it first, bitch. It's about the 08 financial crisis. Oh, right, right, right. I see, I see. Give me one second. Mithril meal. I don't know what to put on him. Let's see, kung fu shoes, I guess. I'll just put him whatever. What does Dreamer's bandana do? Ooh, let's give that. I have always been interested in ancient Egypt ever since I was a kid. I live in San Jose, so it's not that huge of a trip. Oh, cool! That's awesome. I live, I live in the in the northeast part of the Bay. Oh, that's cool. No, that's awesome that we both live in the Bay Area. I used to live in San Jose too. I used to live in San Jose about wow six seven years ago. Oh my God, it's been that long since I lived in San Jose. It's been seven years since I lived in San Jose. I used to live there in 2006. Uh, since, uh, well, yeah, I, uh, the, the last I lived there was back in 2016. But now I live in the Northeast Bay now. That's so cool! We both live in the Bay Area! Let's see. Oh, now they're selling Denaderite stuff. Ooh, I have- oh, I don't have Denaderite yet. It is really cool. That's awesome. Do I have... Let's see if I have any anything better for them. Yeah, I think they have the, the optimum armor for now. The inn is a hot spot for rogues and vagrants. I'm here checking for anyone sus suspicious. You know, you, you know what I want to do? I actually still want to go to the uh, Winchester Mystery Mansion. That's still- I have- I've lived here for, like, almost 10 years. Can you believe it, guys? It's gonna be 10 years since I lived in the Bay Area. I still have not- I still haven't visited the Winchester Mystery House yet. I still haven't gone there yet. I think- I want to go visit that place one of these days. I'm sure you've been there like a, a couple of times, right? Is it is it is it really that fun to go there? Sir Lynx, please go on through. Please go on through. Okay, okay, okay.
Fine, I'll go through. Why don't you go to the Borley Haunted Mansion? We gotta, we, it's gotta exist first. It's gotta exist first, Voidy. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I want, I, that, that actually, okay, if Konami, if Konami ever made a Borley Haunted Mansion, I would fucking cream. I would fucking cream and go there, and I would go fucking visit, um, what's that guy's name? What's the, what's the hung guy's name again? Peter? Charlie? What, what was his name again? I would so fucking go there, and then I'd be, like, standing in that hall with the, uh, uh, orange demon death ball. Oh my god. I would, I would, I'd just fucking stand there and let it kill me. You'd cream of mushroom? I'd cream, I'd cream giant fucking fungus mushrooms. Yeah, i fucking do that. Cordyceps, like, cream all, all the cordyceps out of me. The place was deserted by the time we arrived. Uh, I want to go every once in a while, and then I see the prices, I'm like, nah, I'm good. Doesn't help that you are indirectly financially supporting a weapon manufacturer. Oh, yeah, that's true, too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, does does Winchester actually... Does, does it actually... I mean, it is... And that's true. That's a good point. I didn't, I didn't know that. Well, I didn't know if if, if you're if the Winchester company still. I mean, I don't know, but yeah, that's something to think about too. But are they? Is it really that expensive though? I've seen from the outside because their fence is not that high. That currently suffices me. Yeah, I'll have to consider whether I want to go there or not. General Viper and the Four Davis have gone to Fort Dragonia. I have no further information. You cream- oh my gosh, cream of mushroom. Sir Lynx, please go on through. Let me in! I don't know 100%, but I'd be surprised if the company was not affiliated. Right. Being stubborn, eh? Oh my god, look at this! She, uh, Riddell's being interrogated just, li just like in uh, Radical Dreamers. I'm going to ask you one more time. What happened at Fort Dragonia? Where is General Viper? And where is the frozen flame? I do not know. And even if I did, I would never tell you. Damn this goody two-shoes. Listen up, Missy. Do you know what kind of predicament you're in? Please, sir, this woman has done nothing wrong. If she is a prisoner of the poor military, this is a legitimate interrogation. I do not believe that, sir. There has to be a better way to go about, to go about this. Just give it a little more time and... We don't have time, Norris. I have no time to be listening to your idealistic theories. Now, Missy, let's have you go down to the basement. No, please don't. Norris, I've had enough of you for today. I want you to stay out of this. Okay, for a grunt, I would be. I would not be talking, you know, back talking to Norris that way. You don't, you look like a grunt. You look like a bitch grunt. Norris looks like a, um, hot, hot ass, you know, stud, uh, soldier. I don't know. Hot stud, stud soldier, okay? You don't be talking to him like that. <coughs> doesn't Nor doesn't look like, doesn't it look like Norris outranks him anyway? Take her away. Yes, sir. She looks, she looks, she looks dazzling and, uh, everywhere, anywhere, uh, in any situation. You disappoint me. Remain on standby on, in the parlor. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Please, wait. Think of what you're doing. What you are doing. Is it really something you can live with? He won't talk to you. He has no interest other than fighting. This cannot be. Is he the one from the lab? That's right. This is the killing machine... Mi Grobic. Grobic only takes orders from those who are stronger. And that that grunt stronger than you, really? Ha! Another soldier who won't listen. Dismissed. Colin the cook, the hell one, of course. Yes, sir. I remember this part. I remember this part. This is a pretty cool part of the game. I 
let's see. I think, I, yeah, I think most of these doors are locked, right? Yeah. Sir Lynx, please excuse those squalid condition, these squalid conditions. Sir, this has been bothering me since we met up in Termina. You seem different from, from what I last remember. You just seem different. This man's not Lynx. What? He may look like Lynx on the outside, but his spirit is that of Surge. Is it true? Sir Lynx, what has happened? Lots of exposition. I see. So the surge commanding the insurgent troops is the real Lynx. Everything is starting to make sense. Wait, hold on. Let me fix the uh, let me fix the shel shelf. Um, all right. I'm lurking for a bit before he heading out. Thank you for the stream and take care, all. All right, no problem, Foggy. Good night, Foggy. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, definitely don't be a stranger. Definitely come. Don't be a stranger. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Thanks for coming by, Foggy. Yeah, I hope you had fun. And hope you have fun at the Egyptian exhibit, too. Yeah, have a good night. We're, we were wrong all along. We never should have joined forces of Lynx. And what brings you here? Riddell. Where's Lady Riddell? Bring her out now. You lay one filthy th finger on her and you die. Ah! I see. Then you're here to rescue her. Understood. I would like to help. Riddell should be in the basement prison. Please, take this. Lynx received the prison key. There is a sewer system below the prison. You should be able to uh, break into the prison by making your way through the sewers. Use the hatch downstairs. The sewers are full of monsters. Please be alert. I have heard of one particularly frightful monster. I'll be in the 1F main hall. Please meet me here, there once you rescue Riddell. Yeah, I, I remember this part. Car's just going nuts, and Norse isn't phased even a little bit. I know, he's like, row, row. <laughs> Yeah, and Karsh is one of my favorite characters. I Once I get Karsh, I, once once Karsh comes into the picture, once I am able to recruit him, instantly I just replace whoever's in my party. Hi, Orsha, it's that time again. Cha, what you talking about? You know this. Uh oh. Ucha! Orcha! He's so silly. Oh, he turns into Shin short Shin Orcha, just like in just like in um, Street Fighter Alpha. You know how like there's there's uh, Okuma and then there's Shin Okuma, then there's Ryu and Evil Ryu. Now we have Shin Orcha or Evil Orcha, Hell Orcha. A -cha 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 -cha. Your guest is waiting in the basement. A -cha. He looks creepy as fuck in that picture. He looks creepy as fuck. And, Saku and Sakura and Shin Sakura. Sakura. Oh man, you know Sakura is one of my most favorite characters. Oh my god, I remember Sh Shin Sakura. You know, when I used to play uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, I would always play as Sakura. She's one of my favorite characters. I love Sakura. She's so underrated. She don't you guys think that she's a very underrated character? I love Sakura. I don't know what anyone thinks, but she's one of my favorite characters to play. She is so fun to play. Commander Norris had another disagreement with his superiors. He has sent to the parlor on the other side. Oh man, I do you like do you love Sakura too? Shin Sakura was better just because it's easier to hit the horizontal Hadouken beam than the anti-air one. Oh, I see, I see. She's so she's so good. I love her. It won't open. There must be a way. Oh yeah, I think you have to have um yeah, I think you have to have Zoa in your party. Nice and firm, but a bit smelly.
She's fun and cute. She is cute. I love her. Even though she's not like a top tier, even though she's not a top tier character, she's... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hey, what's up, Metroid? The, uh, Glidewing. Oh, thank you so much for the... And this is... Thank you so much for the, uh, for the shout-out, Void. That thing up, and then oh my rear gosh. Rear. Is it rear? Hey, what's up, Metroid? What were you doing? No, what were you no, streaming no. earlier? Were you streaming some more Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn? What time is it? Oh my gosh, it's only 8.46. So you just ended your stream? But yeah, guys, go ahead and check on follow. Metroid Hatchling is a good streamer friend of mine. He streams lots and lots of retro games and... <coughs> He loves, he loves squirting, he does love squirting a lot of cheese on his crackers, so go ahead and check out and follow him, guys. And yeah, if you don't know who I am, I'm VBooey, and I'm an intent, most, primarily a Nintendo streamer, but I also stream retro horror and JRPGs. And uh, we're currently doing uh, Chrono Cross. We did play through Chrono Trigger and uh, Radical Dreamers, but we'll be going through um, Phoenix Wright Justice for, uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice me? for All. And also, Did thank I you so much for the follow! Thank you so much for the follow, whoever that was. We do anonymous follows here. And yeah, definitely go come lurk away as well. Um, yeah, thank you so much for the follow. But yeah, uh, we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All later on, and Star Ocean 2, the second story. And we're going to be doing a Zelda marathon, so... Are you still following me? Oh my gosh! Do I have to scream? Thank you, thank you so much for the follow, whoever, whoever that was. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, thank you. I really appreciate the follows. I really do appreciate the follows, guys. And um, I am trying to go for a thousand follows. So um, I want to build my community. So yeah, any uh, I appreciate any follows to uh, to build my community and have and share my love with all of you guys to come have you come hang out. And. Um, We'll be doing a Zelda marathon uh, soon. We'll be streaming all the Zelda mar Zelda games um, from the first Le the Legend of Zelda all the way leading up to uh, the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, guys. So come on, come on, come on, come all, and come hang out. And also, guys, if you haven't done so, uh, here are my socials. There we go. So I got. Uh, <laughs> We we do movie movie we do movie and anime nights, so yeah, definitely come by and hang out for uh, because we'll be we'll we'll probably be watching the Princess Bride soon. We're probably gonna be watching the Princess Bride soon next, hopefully next Friday. So yeah, um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream. And let let me go catch up with chat. Let's see. Let's see. Hello. Hey, what's up, Metroid? Uh, all the bombs on the stream avatars. Oh my gosh, yes, I know. It's so cute. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. We read issue number one of Nintendo Power. That's awesome. Oh, cool. I th so, are you going to be doing your? Are you going to be doing your um your magazine, your uh, like your uh, Nintendo Power streams on Saturdays or something? Are you going? To, is that when you're going to be scheduling them? Tomorrow I'm doing my comic book stream with uh, R&B Pikachu, uh, the channel, his channel at 2 p.m. PST, then my channel at 4 p.m. Reading original Ghost Rider, Silver Age Spider-Man, and what 1997 Star Wars comics. Oh, that's awesome! That's awesome, Metroid. How's Chrono Cross going? We just we haven't gone that far in Chrono Cross actually. We're not actually we're actually not that far in the game. Uh, since since we last streamed, since we since we were at you know. Uh, since we fought Miguel, we, we haven't gotten that far yet, actually. We just found out that... What's his face? Uh, we just found out that uh, Riddell... We need to rescue Riddell in the prison, the sewer prison, so that's what we're doing right now. But how's Colonel Colonel? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you. I really do appreciate the raid, uh, Metroid. Thank you. Th thank you so much. I might do Saturdays for Nintendo Power. I want to do one a week. It takes about four hours to completely read through each issue. Oh, really? That's awesome. 
Are you still following me? Oh my gosh! Me? Do I have to scream? Thank you so much for the follow! Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Come hang out with us! Yeah, so I actually, I'm actually going to be changing uh, my format to become more of a Nintendo streamer, so... Uh, I used to just stream JRPGs, and then I <laughs> and then I changed my format to, like, horror. But then I realized, you know what? I'm going to be more of a Nintendo streamer, so I'm, I'm going to be changing my format to be more of a Nintendo... And be more Nintendo gaming, but still also play retro games, too. I'm, gonna, I'm, just, I'm, I'm also going to play retro games as well, because Nintendo and retro go well... Go, go hand in hand together anyway. But yeah, we just... I Earlier today, I just watched a movie called uh, Knock at the Cabin... It's M. Night Shyamalan's newest movie, so it's actually not that bad. I give it a 7 out of 10, but it, it was originally going to be an 8 out of 10, but I thought, eh, it has problems with the dialogue and the story. But I, so I gave it a 7 out of 10, but it could be easily be a 6 out of 10, though. I tried to wake him up, but he won't budge. Well, he's useless anyway. My orders are to investigate the sewer system. Let's see. We are back switching to the other computer. Alright, no problem. The current's... There's a valve that shuts off the water current, but the bridge leading to it is broken. You can access the sewer system through a hatch in the hallway, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Leave me alone. <laughs> Commander Norris is a little too soft. I wish he'd just cracked down on those El Nido hicks. Dang, don't call me a hick. That's mean. That's mean, mister. Was Batista finally in a serious role, or is he still a big, big funny guy? Um, cause like, when, when, in Blade Runner, in, in that Blade Runner movie, oh shit, not yet. In Blade Runner 2049, I think, whatever it's called, it was, it was actually a serious role. Um, I thought, but it wasn't really a big role, though. But this is the first time that Dave Bautista has been in a, in a big, serious role. I'd say it's, I'd say he's mostly serious. But he did a pretty good job. He did a pretty good job. He's still like a big dude, though. What the hell's taking so long? Where's my food? What? Well, that's the problem with El Nido people. They're too lazy. I would say that, I'd say that the premise is pretty interesting. But I feel like with M Night Shyamalan, he doesn't take. He doesn't realize the full potential of his of his of the material that he works with. He doesn't really make the most out of his out of the um, the material's potential, and then he kind of squanders it, and then he, and then it turns into a mediocre mess. So it, this game, this movie is actually a, an adaptation from a book. So that's probably why he doesn't really understand the material fully, or he doesn't really know how to bring out the best in every in all the actors and the writing's potential. Commander Norris disguised himself as a dishwasher to conduct espionage. Luca used to work in a lab up in Poor, but she lost her brother in a freak accident during his experiments. She wanted to get away from it all, so she made her way down to El Nido. Oh, I think Robic is supposed to be Luca's, Lucia's brother. Whoa, did you see that? The cook Orchard just transformed into Hell's Cook. He probably has another dirty job to take care of. Where am I going? Where am I going? Uh, was Batiste? That's good. I read that he said he wants more serious roles. Honestly, he can do serious. I, I feel because like with with wrestlers, with WWE wrestlers, I feel like they they uh they they feel I feel like they think they think they can't do serious roles, so that's why they do a lot of action and funny roles. But the, with Batista, I think he's I think he's capable of doing a serious role. And like, I mean, even though he's a big dude, he can he can do a serious role as a big dude. Cause you see how John Cena and The Rock, you see how they usually do like funny or action roles. Cause they, I don't think they're, I don't think they, uh, they are um, confident in being doing a serious role. That's why they always do funny or action roles. But with Dave Bautista, I think he can do a pretty good job. I was convinced the Frozen Flame could be here, would be here, but I was wrong.
But yeah, guys, hope you guys are enjoying the stream. <coughs> we're having, we're playing through Chrono, uh, Chrono Cross right now, and we're having a lot of fun with the game. It's been a long time since I've last played it, uh, back in 2018, and even before 2018, it's been a long time too. I probably, it's probably like before 2018, it's probably like maybe 2002, 2003-ish that I played this game. What is that shiny thing right there? I'm trying to grab onto that. Oh, we got a silver earring. Ooh. So yeah, we're playing the Switch version. So we only we have to play this game for the first time. All right, I, I did all this stuff in the in another world, didn't I? Wait, I'm supposed to go this way. I think when I go this way, I can go talk to uh, Balthasar, probably. I think it's over here, this- yeah, yeah, it's over here. Oh, cool! It's daytime now. We don't see the moon anymore. I like how there's a daytime version of, of this bridge. Oh, it's Balthasar! Go down to the sewer system through a metal hatch on the B1 floor. After you risk a Riddell, come to me if you have any questions. Yeah, there's supposed to be a secret over here. I remember there's a, there being a secret right here. Oh, here we go! Here we go! We found it! You found a door that leads down. Go down. Here we go. This is what I was trying to find last time. Remember this Remember this uh, room? Remember this room, uh, Void? This is the room I was trying to look for. Look, it's a beach bum, but it's supposed to be... I think it's supposed to be a new, though. W welcome. S take it. Y use it. Links received the porous furnace frame. B by the way, change your name? No. That's so cool, it's the Epoch. What is this? Some kind of transport? That's so cool. Oh man, it's such a shame. It's such a shame we'll never see a Chrono sequel. We'll most likely never ever see a Chrono sequel, so... And so Appreciate this scene for all that you uh, for all that, that it's worth. Appreciate it, guys. All right, let's go over here. There's no secrets over here, I don't think. But that's what I was trying to look for. Ga ga yo, ga pi pi. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I think he's trying to take a shit or something. Looks like the Viper Manor gang left in fear of our men. That over there is our ultimate weapon, Gyo, uh, Gila. Oh, Gilot, Gu like guillotine or Giat, Giat. There's no way you can defeat that thing. I like that. That's a pretty clever name, Giat, like guillotine. But then the, the thing is, though, Guillotine's also named after a person, too. Ooh. Let's see if I can actually get any new characters. I came here looking for a fight, but with no one here, what's the point? Look at these aggressive-ass fucking poor soldiers. They're poorly behaved, get it? Ha ha ha. Miss Riddell has been taken to the basement prison against her will. Oh, cool. What's a little slimy thing? He wants to guy your pee pee. Oh my god. Oh my god. Poor, poor manner. Shake my head. He wants to guy my pee pee. Oh, yeah. He's gonna, definitely gonna guy guy my pee pee. Oh my god. Oh, your guy? <laughs> I 
I reckon there's a secret room around here somewhere. I think I have to ch ch turn the head over here. There you go. Whoa, so that's how you open it. Alright, I remember this part, I think. So there's nothing in here, is there? Oh, there's nothing see- Oh! Fear the one with the missing shield. Oh, man. Ugh, come on. Oh. There's a note inside the drawer. Fear the one with the missing shield. Repress the anger of thy god. The moment you see the truth from within the light, the god's anger will calm. There's something written on the back. Check the pillar in the armory. Oh, yeah. I already know the secret. Dun 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 bum 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 Oh here's finally we have Lukia This almost sap flower is called Neotheo As it matures it will behave just like a human However this Neotheo is like no other It is a power powerful type with the ability to use elements Naturally, it was I who, who improved it. Oh, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. one is able to train train it if it blossoms. So wait, what do you what do you guys think? What country is uh, Lukia from? What country do you think Lukia is from? Do you think she's from she's from Germany or she's from like some Polish country or Czech country? She, she's from 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 Czech some uh, Czech country. I wonder what country uh, she's supposed to be. Uh, Neo Theo, yeah. Can I recruit? Can I recruit Neo Theo now? One is able to train it if it, if she blossoms. Yeah, it's probably Slavic. Yeah, somewhere somewhere Slavic or Czech. That's what I thought too. But a life sparkle is necessary for that. I have pinpointed the thereabouts of a life sparkle in a marsh east of Ar Arni village. Hey, they're all European to me. Yeah, <laughs> probably. I sent some of our dragoons to retrieve it. However, none have returned. It is a shame, but I cannot allow any more loss of life. I suggest you stay away from that marsh if you wish to live. Oh, I can't recruit Neo Theo. I think you can. I think you can recruit. Uh, you can recruit uh, Lucia, right? It's been a hundred years since the people first colonized El Nido. A lot has changed, but the sea remains the same. I think you can recruit her. I don't think, think I need the sight scope. This game is so beautiful. I like the design of that ladder. That That's a pretty cool design. I like that. It's very clever. That's a very clever design for that ladder. But the thing is, though, the bad thing about that ladder is that you can't really... You can't really grab- well, yes you can. You can still grab onto the ladder. Yeah, you can. Never mind. Just kidding. I'm back. Welcome back, Metroid! Welcome back. We're just still exploring Viper Manor the second time. Are you eating some more steak nachos? Oh, right. We need to go downstairs. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, my God. Put potatoes in the air fryer. Ooh, you have an air fryer? Nice. What kind of- ooh, what kind, what, kind, what kind of potatoes are you going to make in the air fryer? Mashed potatoes or just like hot potatoes? Under investigation, sir. I am sorry, Sir Lynx, but I cannot even allow even you to pass. I think I can go this way, too. They're hey! chopped up with olive oil and Parmesan cheese and herbs. Ooh, 
that sounds freaking good. That sounds freaking good, Metroid. Ooh. Dang. I had some chicken sandwiches earlier. It, that tasted pretty good, too. And, uh, and fries. Ooh, I had the, had some, um, mm, chicken sandwiches and fries. Om nom, om nom indeed. What the? Hey, what's up, Yosh? Yeah, welcome, welcome. Metro Task Extreme has suddenly transformed into a buoy one. Yep, yep. Yep, I'm I'm streaming tonight. Oh right, I forgot that you're supposed to like oh no, I messed up. I messed up. Oh no. The water's flow is too fast. We should be able to stop it somewhere. No, I messed up. Well, wait a minute. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try to get out of here. Oh, I can go this way, can I? Oh, I can't go this way. Never mind. Oh, man. Yeah, we're getting some. We're getting pretty close. We're getting farther in the Chrono Cross. I don't. I, I could have sworn Chrono Cross is a lot shorter than I remembered, but it's not. Because, like, I played through this game so many times, it just feels short. But, of course, during our first playthrough, it feels longer. And also, when you stream the game, it feels longer, too. Casserole's done and picks are in the food chain. Ooh! Oh my god! I can't wait. I cannot wait to see the pick the picks of your casserole. Oh my god, it's gonna look so good. It's gonna look delish. Delish. Gonna look very delicious. <laughs> See, I'm not even like pressing any buttons. It does the auto battle for me, which is pretty nice. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played this game, so I don't really remember exactly what to do in the dungeons. Is it just cream and mushroom that you use for your, uh, uh, for your, um, green bean casserole? I, I mean, that's the main ingredient. I think for my broccoli, rice, and cheese casserole, I use cream and mushroom, and I use, um, what was it called? The... Cream and mushroom, I use a, also, I think, a chicken, cream of chicken, as well. Mushroom with roasted garlic. Ooh, and a half cup of milk. Ooh, that sounds delish. That sounds freaking good. I wonder, if there's such thing as ramen casseroles. I bet, I bet a ramen casserole would taste pretty good too. Ooh, I want a ramen casserole.
Don't you dare miss, douchebag. I know it has turned into a booty stream. But yeah, I'm glad that you guys are here to hang out with us. We're having a lot of fun playing Chrono Cross. I love myself some Chrono Cross. Hey, hey what's up, AT Rock? Even the AT Rock. Did you go on? Um, hope, hopefully, you had a fun weekend <laughs> where you are. Did you drink any wine? Did you drink any uh, delicious wine? Does does wine really stain your teeth? I don't really, I don't, I don't really drink wine that much. So cooking, um, you know how? I mean, since you're a, a since you're a top tier chef. What is it about wine that makes uh, that makes the food taste good? Why why do people cook with wine? What what make what is what is it with wine that makes the food taste good? Is it because whenever the wine gets reducted or reduced, is it because when the wine gets reduced, like it gets distilled to to its actual flavor, like like maybe it's, it has like maybe it's been reduced to its actual flavor. That's why. Ramen casserole, that's an interesting idea, and I'm not sure how you put that together. I'm not sure either. Not too much good evening, because ramen is typically very brothy and casseroles are more creamy. I mean, it's a possible- you could probably- you could probably do- you could probably, you know, get away with the- making a- uh, making a ramen casserole. It's- I'm sure it's possible. Maybe like a ramen lasagna kind of casserole? Red can, white not so much. Wine is just acid and a little weak sweetness. I see, I see. Oh, and that leads me into another question, Cooking. Who do you think's the worst chef? Who do you think is the worst chef in, that you've ever that you've ever seen, met, or experienced? Who's the worst chef that you've ever seen? Are you going to say Guy Fieri? Are you going to say Guy Fieri? I mean, I like Guy Fieri. He's, he's, I mean, I'm sure he knows how to cook, but he's mostly a personality, right? One of the biggest mistakes young cooks make is using too much wine. It's doable. I see, I see. Yeah, I... What was I gonna say? I forgot what I was gonna... I, for... I lost my train of thought. Oh, I need to get this chest right here. Oh, I got some Denatorite. Nice. Where does this take me? I don't remember. The worst celebrity chef? Hmm. I don't know. I used to work for Todd English for a long time. And he's kind of a douche. I don't... Who's Todd English? Who is that guy? I'm not a huge fan of Dan Barber, even though he has some cool sustainability ideas. Who's Dan Barber? I don't know who that who that guy is either. Todd English is a Boston guy mostly. Oh, I see, I see. Dun, dun, dun. Na, na, na. Todd English rings a bell, but I don't think I heard it. I heard of him. Hey! I'm sure he's famous in like I'm sure he's famous in uh a lot of food circles, right? I'm sure. Chrono Cross in your life. Uh, yo, the boss, but cheat codes they cost. But if no skip, the game is lost. Oh, shit. Dang, yeah. This game can be really hard, just like with the Miguel fight. 
um, Troha, <coughs> Puha. Yeah, that Miguel fight was really hard to, uh, to fight. But we, we, but we got through it. Just like in your rap. You got some cheat codes. No, I'm just kidding. No, but hey, what's up, Poo Poo? I, I hope you don't, I hope you don't cook your food with Poo 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 Poo, okay? Oh, <laughs> that's, that's really gross if you do. Dan Barber is one of my, is one of the big farm to table guys on Northeast Guy. Oh, I see. Uh, Michael uh, Nina, he's a fa San Fran guy, and I hear he treats people really well. I respect him a lot. Cool. Lots of famous uh, chefs. Are you, uh, some more? Yeah, I would imagine you would be a, a foodaboo. You know how like there's weeaboos, right? You're, there's weeaboos. You're since you're a chef, you have to be a foodaboo, right? A foodaboo. There's a ga uh, or gastroboo. Gastroboo. I guess, yeah, if, if you're a food person, I guess you'd be called a gastro-boo. It's a valve tightening. Yeah, it's a tightening. Lol, I'm actually using poo hot sauce with a big turd on the front. Gross. I don't, I, man, I don't, I don't want, I don't, man, I don't, I kind of regret, I, I regret taking this conversation to poo. I, I, I regret it now. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Pooha. Thanks. Oh, right. So I have to go back up here. <laughs> Let's see. So I have to... Go the other way. I think once I become, once I come back to being Surge, I think I'll, I'll go ahead and start doing all the side quests. This conversation went to shit. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh, I need to save. I need to save too. You're totally not wrong. Uh, void. Oh, it's, this isn't this isn't the place to go uh, rest. No, it's that way. It's that door at the very end. That's it. Alright, let's go. Let's go! I wonder what all the- I wonder what- mm, Nah, I don't want to make- I, want, I don't want to keep making more uh, safe slots for some reason. I can't wait to fight Grobic, though. No, we're supposed to go this way. I keep getting, I keep forgetting. Wonder what happens if I go this way. Oh, we go down this way. I see. Well, that's pretty lame. I should, maybe I should be using Sprig to get to doppelgang all those enemies, but I feel like I feel like that knight enemy that I doppelganged is good enough. Whatever his name it's called, it's like White Knight or something like that. How far are we from the end of the game, guys? I think we just need to go through the six dragons, right? And then after that, we're, uh, we go to Chronopolis, and then that's it. I think that's it, right? We just have the six dragons, Chronopolis, and then and then, oh, and then we go to the Dragon Dungeon. We you know, we also got to go to the go to the Dragonite Dungeon too, and that, and then the end of the game, 
right? So I need to go this way. This day. <clears throat> Over here. Over here. Yeah, we need to go this way, and then I need to make sure I can get up here. Oh yeah, I can. I can. Thankfully. What's the what's the path over there though? Now I'm curious. I'm kind of curious now. Oh, okay. What's over here? Wait. No, I didn't want to touch that guy. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't want to touch him. Oh well. I'll just put on- I'll just turn on, uh, no counters next time. That way I don't have to touch any- uh, fight any monsters. Yeah, oh well. You know, like, okay, if, if Starkey came from another planet, so Lavos came from another planet too, or, or maybe he absorbed other planets. So I wonder if, if, if uh, Lavos actually absorbed, you know, Starkey's planet or not. Probably not. That's interesting that Lavos isn't the only extraterrestrial being. There's also Starkey too in this game. No bad touch. I know, no bad touch. Now we don't have to worry about bad touch over here. Oh no! This is the way I was supposed to go! Ah, shit. I messed up. I'm supposed to go to the middle path. I, I do love- I do love the Samus the emote. The Kafis or Samus emote, whatever you want to call it, it's a nice emote. It must have taken them a long time to get there. Oh, what are you referring to, uh, Aterok? <laughs> See? They can't touch me now. Haha. <laughs> but they- I can't- get past them though oh my god get out of my way <laughs> oh yeah 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 to get the yeah the extraterrestrial was right oh my god that's so annoying Oh, I'm gonna have to fight it. That's a- that's freaking annoying. <laughs> yeah. You're- you're gonna do that to me? You're gonna try to fuck me up? I'll fuck you up back. I 
love the I love the music in this game. Even this track. It's one of my least favorite tracks, but I still like it. I wonder if you know you know what I wonder? I wonder if a small streamer has ever gotten a raid over a hundred over like well I mean obviously over a hundred, but maybe over a thousand. I wonder if a small streamer has ever got raided by like a big streamer that has over a thousand followers. Cause I usually don't see that's the thing though, I usually don't see streamers, like small streamers get like big big raids from like a thousand plus uh um concurrent viewer streamers. The track this track has good tension, yeah. I've never seen that, I've never countered that. What's a small streamer? I'd say a small streamer is like, you know, 0 to uh, 20. 0 through 20, or 0 through 30. 0 through 20 or 0 through 30 is like, a, is, I consider a small streamer. And then, um, maybe like, and then 40 through through 100 is like mid-sized. 40 through 100 is like mid-sized. And then, um, and then 100 plus is like big streamer to me. That's what I consider a big streamer. So... Small is uh, 0 through 30 or 40, and then mid is like 40 through 100, and then 100 plus is big. What is that thing? Is that What is that blob? I want to kill it. You seen it, scheming? Oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me! <laughs> there seems to be some trick to opening it. So I, I play Path of Exile and it has a pretty tight community. What is Path of Exile again? I've heard of the game. I think I've seen people stream it. So I see people with, that are, who are huge like 1k plus raid people with like 15 viewers average oh i see i see that's cool i've never i've the biggest raid that i've ever gotten is probably like 100 plus i think i've got at least a 100 plus raid from someone before uh, leave it alone play this part right here yeah, a friend of Vinny's got raided, and he usually pulled in like 40 to 70, 40 to 70 max, but, um, but the raid gave him like over 2,000. Oh my god, that's crazy. 2,000. That's a pretty big number. <sighs> Path of Exile is an ARPG, but it has really interesting mechanics to create lots of interesting interactions to make cool builds. Oh, cool. <laughs> it sounds familiar. It sounds like a Steam game, isn't it? Let's see if that makes any difference. Oh no, I can't go that way. When I am in Proton John's chat, sometimes he raids uh, small streamers and we are in a group of 5,000 plus! Jeez! Oh my god, 5,000 plus, that's huge. It's uh, it's on Steam, but it is standalone too. Uh, it's kind of like Diablo, but more complicated. I see, I see. Path of Exile. I've, I've heard of the name. I've heard of the name, for sure. 5,000 plus? Jeez. You know, I've never... Hold on. I don't know what I'm... I don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to tighten it even more. I'll leave it alone.
I've heard the name, but never played it. Yeah, same here. I never played it. Oh, I have to go this way. Oh, duh. There we go. That's a lot better now. This bozo, get out of my way, bozo! Get out of my way, bozo! No, no, no. No, 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 no. Get out of my way! We're almost there to the end to the end of the dungeon. Oh, that's right. I can open it. You know, you know it's kind of weird. How, why can't we just jump over this? Why can't we just jump over this uh, barrier right here and then just tighten it that way? So, Bowie, did you know there was a magazine before Nintendo Power that became Nintendo Power? I didn't know until today. Really? I didn't know that either. What was it called? What was it called before Metroid? So, Nintendo... I think Nintendo Power was never officially... Uh, never never officially uh, owned by Nintendo, right? Wasn't it Nintendo Power's own thing, right? And then... Hey! But at one point, it did become a part of Nintendo. Something like that, right? I always wondered why Zelda 1, Metroid, and Mario 1 were never covered in Nintendo Power, because they were covered in the Nintendo Fun Club news hey! magazine. Oh. Nintendo Fun Club? No, they were owned by Nintendo. Oh, I see. Uh, but at later later on though, later on though, they stopped become they stopped being owned by Nintendo, right? Later on? I mean, it has Nintendo in the name, so that's not necessarily true. That's not necessarily true, uh, AT Rock. Because at one point, Nintendo Power wasn't owned by Nintendo. Let me look it up. Not owned by Nintendo. I think they became the, they, they became owned by um, uh, Zeb Davis or something like that. Let's see. Let's look it up. At one point, they were owned by someone else. Oh, cool! They were, they were based in San Francisco. That's awesome. Nintendo Power used to be in San Francisco. Hey! Here we go. See? That, I was right. Okay, so Nintendo of America. So it was... It did used to be owned by Nintendo from 1998, 1988 to 2007. And then I remember... I remember in the mid-2000s, it, it, it then got owned by Future US from 2007 from, to 2012. So it, did, it was owned by Nintendo at one point. Is there a lag going on in stream? I don't think so. Someone in chat told me Nintendo, the Nintendo Fun Club News Magazine was uh, unofficial. Then became official when they changed the name to Nintendo Power. Oh, I see. Yeah, I looked up the Wikipedia article and it says something about Howard Howard Phillips or Howard Howard something uh, became the who was he? Howard uh, Howard. Uh, Howard Phillips. Uh, the magazine was edited at first by Fun Club president. Howard Phillips himself, an avid gamer, while the Fun Club News focused solely on games uh, made in-house by Nintendo. I haven't verified this though. Nintendo Fun Club is a fan club marketed by Nintendo. It was free to, free to join. And its uh, members received a free subscription to Nintendo Fun Club News, a periodical that discussed popular games and games that were planned for the new future. 
Uh, it also offered tips and tricks. Nintendo video game news and comics. Yeah, I think it seems better now. Hopefully it picks up. All right, cool, cool. No problem. Thanks, thanks for letting me know. I think I think a refresh bar probably would have fixed it, right? Oh no, car! She's gonna die! Oh crap! Let's go heal. I think um, Power Phillips was the main editor or whatever for the early Nintendo powers. I remember I remember reading that name. I remember that name, Howard Phillips. Because when I was a kid, I grew up reading Nintendo Power, and I see what I would see his name from time to time. Uh, for the for the early Nintendo Power, he shows up in the magazine a bunch, right? I remember seeing that name. I remember seeing that name. I wonder if he's like a boomer by now. He must be a boomer. Let's do Ultra Nova on you. All that for like a giant cockroach bug. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Hey! Let's see, feral cats. And still not dead. It killed his little baby bugs. Oh my god! It, it went on its back and killed its baby bugs. Um, the last issue of Nintendo Fun Club with the news was actually has ads for Nintendo Power and a card to fill out to subscribe to Nintendo Power. Oh, cool! So that so it had to make it made the transition so that way it can market Nintendo Power. I, I would assume. It's sad that we don't get Nintendo Power. I, I, it's sad that we don't have magazines like that anymore. We don't have physical magazines anymore, you know? That's sad. Um, but they were but they were letters to the previous magazine. That explains a lot. It is sad, yeah. Uh-oh. Wait, that's not what I want. I want that. That's interesting how it gives you st uh, lots of stamina. It automatically gives you stamina. It makes the game easier that way. Let's try this out. Hmm. Just imagine working for a Nintendo warehouse one day, and then moving up on up to a third hey! person. That's what that's what Howard Phillips did. He used to be working at a warehouse, and then he became PR. That's awesome. Are Pharma's strategy guides still a thing? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, boy, if they still exist. I like Nintendo Force, which is a, a fan magazine that's been going for 10 years in the same uh, spirit as Nintendo Power. It's not the same, but it's still fun, and I'm subscribed to it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look into Nintendo Force. I'm gonna have to look into it, but it won't, it won't be the same as the Nintendo Power she used to collect as a kid, though. No, Prima died figures pretty recently, too, like 2018, I think. They merged with Brady Games, I think, and then went under. Ew, Brady Games. Ew. When I, when every time I hear the word Brady Games, I always think it's na I always think of it as low quality. I always think of Brady Games as low quality, and also it doesn't help that I knew a guy named Brady back then as a kid. Hey! I used to know this guy named Brady, and he was kind of a douchebag. No offense to uh, to the other Bradys, but Br the Brady that I knew was kind of a douchebag. Because he was a jock, like, he was a jock and he, um, you know, you know how jocks are. 
I mean, not all jocks are douchebags, but they kind of they kind of were. Some of this stuff is okay. I got their new issue a couple weeks ago. I know some people made comics for it. Oh, wow, you know some people from, who made uh, comics for Nintendo Force? You you really get around, scheming. You definitely get around. Those potatoes sure are tasty, Bowie. Ooh, did you post any pictures? You should have posted pictures if you haven't if you haven't done so. I want to see pictures. Um, no worries, no worries. Mmm, potatoes. I know, I want some potatoes too. I ha I had some, I had some, um, ha what are they called? What are those, what are those, like, grid potatoes called? What are those? What are they called? The ones when they're grid shaped or like pa they're, they're uh, hashtag shaped? I had those. I had those kinds of potatoes. Those are pretty good. Waffle fries, yes, waffle fries. Those are I, I love waffle fries. Those are my favorite. <laughs> hashtag potatoes. That's I forgot. I used to, I forgot what they were called. And that's why I had to call them hashtag potatoes. Yeah, waffle fries. LBD uh, Night Strat Night Train was the person. They made some comics for it. I used to talk to him on Sonic uh, Stadium. And uh, followed his DA account. Ooh, cool. Seriously, yeah. Seriously, Skimmy, you get around. You know, you, you rub shoulders. Yeah, you rub a lot of shoulders with other people, don't you? Those sound pretty yummy. Okay, boy, post a bonus left. All right, cool, cool. Oh, damn, waffle fries. I know, I love waffle fries. I just know people. There, I think that's enough. I think that's good enough for me to get all my bonuses before I fight the other one. Scheming knows God. I bet scheming's blind because they they met God. No, I'm just kidding. He's got friends in high places. Oh yeah, this part. I remember this part. You have to go. If you go up the wrong one, you, uh, you're screwed or something. <laughs> Looks. Like, I like how Glenn's like imprisoned. Huh? <laughs> What about this hey! one? Ark, what the hell am I doing here? I must have smelled the sea. Arg! Something down below. Is is anybody there? I <gasps> hold on a bit. Heave ho! Shiver me timbers, Lynx! Just calm down. Do you really think Lynx would be here? He's right before me eyes, ain't he? This isn't Lynx. He's Surge on the inside. You're pulling me leg! Mmm, it is strange that he'd be here. 
but I'm honored that you would come save me. I owe you one. We're not here to rescue you. We're here to rescue General Viper's daughter. Oh, is that so? Well, you ended up saving me anyway. Let me help. Do you know where General Viper's daughter is? Aye, a young lass was taken to the cell next door. Well, how do we get out of here? Here's the key to the prison. Oh, great. I'm going to go free the others and make me escape. Good luck to ya. Well, I hope I can go back down. Well, if I knew God, tell them to send me back my 350. <laughs> I like to imagine if there was a uh, god they came and they came to Earth, they'd be exactly like Pooha. Fargo, yeah, Fargo, Glenn, I love both of them. Yeah, he wouldn't, and he probably, he, he'd be crazy, wouldn't he, right? He'd be a crazy god, right? How did I end up in here? Oh, here we go. We can save finally. It's such a roundabout way to just, just get to the cells here. That's a roundabout way just to get to the cells. Give me one second. I gotta go to, I gotta go to the restroom real quick, guys. I'll be right back. I need to go take a pee pee. I need to go take a pee pee break. I'll be right back, guys. I need to go go pee 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 pee, pee go. I need to go ga pee 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 right <laughs> right now. Uh, void. I'll be right back.
Hey everyone! Oh my god, I'm back. And also, thank you so much for the raid, Jordy boy. Let me go and give you a shout out. Guys, go ahead and check hey, out nice. and I got follow. Two more hill points. Lovely. Oh. Okay, this is my best run by far. Get out that hurt. Oh, oh man, two for the price of one. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, you're Last playing Hollow Knight it's in it's one of your old clips. That's awesome, Jordy boy. When I'm back, I'm back with from my um my my bathroom break break. I didn't I didn't have a good poop. I had a good gappy pee, Metroid. I had a good gappy pee. But guys, <laughs> thank you. But yeah, thank you so much for the raid, Jordy boy. <laughs> you raided me right whenever I went to go take a pee pee break. Thank you so much for the raid, guys. And yes, check out Jordy boy, guys. He is a uh, JRPG streamer. He's currently streaming uh, Slay the Spire. So how is Slay the Spire? Did you beat Final Fantasy 15 yet, Jordy? Yeah, go check him out and follow him, guys. And uh, yeah, if you don't know who I am, uh, I'm Vibui, and I'm actually going to be changing my uh, username soon. And we actually, we actually are going to have a new email in the works from the amazing scheming miner. Um, I'm going to be more of a Nintendo-focused streamer uh, moving forward. And I'll be dabbling in... Uh, well, I'm also going to be dabbling in retro uh, retro games. And then I'll be dabbling uh, a little bit in um, horror and JRPGs. But I'm going to be mostly a Nintendo streamer and, you know, do retro and then some horror and JRPGs. So, um, we're playing... We just finished uh, Chrono Trigger in Radical Dreamers. We're playing Chrono, Trigger, Chrono Cross now. We're trying, trying to rescue... Riddell and, and get all the um, shit from the from the from the uh, dragon gods <coughs> And then later on we're gonna be playing Phoenix Wright uh, Ace Attorney Justice for All Star Ocean the second uh, Star Ocean 2 the second story and also We'll be doing a Legend of Zelda marathon We'll be streaming all the Legend of Zelda games from the first Legend of Zelda leading up to Tears of the Kingdom and it's gonna take us a while to get to Tears of the Kingdom So I probably won't be playing it until, uh, even on May I'll probably have to play it, like, sometime at the end of the year, because I'm going to have to go through a lot of Zelda games to, until we get to Tears of the Kingdom. So, come one, come all, come hang out, guys. But yeah, Jordy, how, did you have fun playing Slay the Spire? <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid, Jordy. And hey, what's up? Oh my gosh, Meme Lord, long time no see. I haven't seen you in a long time, uh, Meme Lord. Let me go catch up with the chat. But yes, GG. GG on the words on stream, guys. So Y'all did a great job. <clears throat> did you have a good poop? I had a good pee pee. But yeah, I was playing Hollow Knight this stream as well. So that's fitting. That's awesome. Yeah, because like the 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 um, the stream, the shout out thing, it usually, it usually pulls up really old clips. But this time it pulled up a recent clip, hopefully. You're not gonna be booey anymore. Well, I'm. I'm still gonna. Well, you'll find out. You'll find out once I change my usernames. You'll find out. I'm not. I'm gonna keep it a secret, guys. I'm gonna keep it a secret. I'm not gonna tell you what the new username is gonna be. So you'll see. You'll see. Uh, no, I was taking a break. Uh, this stream. I'm on chapter eight or nine. I think on um, Final Fantasy 16. How many total chapters are there? I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 15, but I mean, I I, I like I kind of liked what I what I played of it. I also got the autographs. I also got the autographs from most of the Choco Bros. So I will be. So I I've gotten all the autographs from the guys who played uh, who voiced Ignis, uh, Gladiolus, and uh, oh my god, I'm I'm forgetting the guys and other guy's name. Um, uh, Prompto? Yeah, Prompto. But I never got Noctis' autograph. When I went to Crunchyroll Expo back in 2018, I think, I, I got to meet the Choco Bros, but I never got to meet Noctis' voice actor. The guy who played Ignis is pretty hot, though. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you're not... No, I was taking a break the stream. Oh, yeah. Uh, bo the booty! Yeah, you, you wanna see my... Yeah, that's, that's the big star of the show, my booty. Yes, it's gonna be V Booty. Zelda! That'll take quite a while. Oh yeah, it's gonna take a little while. 
Welcome Raiders. Even the CDI Zeldas, that's going to be a sub... <laughs> that's going to be a sub goal. We're going to make we're gonna make the CDI Zeldas a sub goal. Yeah, they, yeah, Slay the Spot... So, yeah, Slay the Spire is super fun, even though I made quite a few blunders. Oh no! What happened? I, is, what kind of game is Slay the Spire again? Is it like a Metroidvania, kind of? Yeah, no, I had a final to prepare for... Uh, for. Luckily, I passed. Oh, that's awesome, Meme Lord! Ugh. Yeah, I know you've been busy with life. Excuse me. I know you've been busy with life, but I'm always happy to see you. There's 15 chapters. I thought there was 10, so I'm not as far as I thought, LOL. Yeah, it's... there's. I think I remember th there being 15 chapters, yeah. And also, there's a teacher strike. Oh, no. So, yay, I get to stay home without the need to skip school. Yay, you get to stay home. Man, it would have been nice whenever I was younger. I, it would have been nice if I had a teacher strike. I would have, and then I would have, I would, I would stay home and not have to deal with the douchebag kids too. Very cool. Ooh, nice. Ignis is my favorite of the bros. Yeah, Ignis is, he's cool. He's pretty cool, but his, his, his in real life voice actor is pretty hot though. I could go for a crunchy sushi roll. Oh man, Yoshio! Last week I had sushi. Last week I had sushi, and I had I had a crunchy sushi hey. roll too. I I love crunchy rolls. They're one of my favorites. I love. Okay, my favorites would be a crunchy sushi roll, uh, or crunchy roll, and then it would be a, my most favorite is, my, is the Philadelphia roll or the Philly roll. Those are my two favorites. It's a rogue like, um, rogue like. It's a roguelike, it's a roguelike card deck building game. Oh, that's right. It's a card game rogue, uh, like, so messing up, you can, can send you back to the beginning. Oh, I see. We had a teacher strike once in first grade. Um, they extended school for each day the strike happened. Oh, no, it said it ate into your summer? Oh, that sucks. So we still had to do those days. It just ate into the Oh, my God, he just said the same thing. <laughs> Metro, you just said the same thing. It just ain't to the summer. Oh my god. Right when I was saying uh, it just ain't to the summer, and then I read what you said right after that. That was funny. I did save, didn't I? I'll save again just to make sure. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Boss time. Oh my god, BDSM! Oh my god, this is like a BDSM room. Oh, what are they going to be doing to my girl, Riddell? Oh my god. <laughs> this man is our secret weapon, Hell's Cook. Let's see. <laughs> you're, the, you're the cook, Orcha. What have you done to him? We had him eat some quaffed seeds, found in Hydra marshes. They had the power to release one's dark side. After that, we just ring a special bell, and next thing you know, we have Hell's Cook, Orcha. How horrible. But why, Orcha? We needed him to steal the dragon tear from Goldov. Of course, his true self has no idea what he has done. Now prepare yourself. Who knows what this crazy man will do? No! Lady Lady Riddell, I have come to save you. You are Sir Lynx, but why are you here? Actually, this man ain't Lynx. What? It's too hard to explain. We're just here to take Riddell, ba Riddell back. Mwah! Cha 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 cha! Don't you go interfere with my cooking. Actually, you'll make a fine ingredient for my soup. Ew! Are you still following me? Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for the follow! Thank you, thank you! We do anonymous follows, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, definitely lurk away. I, I appreciate lurkers too. Thank you, thank you. Orcha, no! You have a wife and kids! Actual cooking with evil! Oh my god, that's so true! Oh my god, scheming! That's so that is so 
Th this is definitely Cooking with Evil personified. This is Cooking with Evil personified. Cooking, are you still here? This is you. This is you. Oh my god, that's so true. This sounds that sounds horrible. We had a strike when I was in fourth grade and a teacher got arrested for throwing a brick at a car. It wasn't my teacher though. Oh my god, that like that, that that teacher's gone wild. <laughs> Was it like teacher's gone wild or something? Oh, I do not want to see Mrs. Smith, you know, pulling up her blouse. I do not want to see an 80-year-old teacher pulling up her blouse for Teacher's Gone Wild, okay? <laughs> um, cut the chrono crust. Uh, sandwich, um, uh, sandwich I had for lunch. The mayo had too much. Use the lettuce as a crutch. Ew! Sandwiches taste gross if you have too much mayo. That sounds gross. Let's get cooking. With evil. Please tell me Mrs. Wormwood did not go wild. Ew! Hey! Ew! I did not want to see Mrs. Wormwood's uh, worm. If you know, if you catch my drift. Ew! Uh oh, hopefully the stream the stream didn't freeze up, did it? Oh it's just it's just my it's just my own stream. Okay, never mind. Hey! Alright, let's see. We'll do feral cats on you. He still he still redonate though. That's interesting. I love Karsh. See, I love Karsh because he has really strong physical and he has decent magic too. He has he's all around pretty good. Send aura into axe and throw it in a circle. I love Karsh. He's so awesome. I love Starkey too. I love Starkey. They're they're my boys. They're my boys. These are the these are my uh, Chrono boys. These are my Chrono Cross boys. My CC boys. It's it's a uh, Lynx or Surge and Karsh and and and, and uh, Starkey. Take this. I like he pulls. I like how he pulls up an alien Sentai uh, robot. Basically, they were holding signs up and yelling at us when our parents came to pick pick us up. Well, why are they? Why would they get mad at the parents though? Shouldn't they get? Shouldn't they get mad at the at the superintendent and the and the admins too? I guess the the teacher threw a brick into the window of a sub teacher's car to try to discourage subs from coming in. Oh my god. Devly teacher's gone wild. So what do you think about the theory that Goombas are actually tortured toads? I've heard about that. I've heard about that theory, uh, Metroid. I heard that the theory that is that the some a lot of the monsters in the Mushroom Kingdom, all that all the enemies are actually um, are actually uh, Mushroom Kingdom people that were um, turned into Goombas or other enemies by Koopa. That's what I've heard about when I was a kid too. I think it might be possible. I think it might be possible. Like uh, Uruk High in Lord of the Rings, Bowser tortures them and twists them into his own Goomba creations. Right. I've heard of that because it makes sense because they kind of do look look like mushrooms, but they are but they are supposed to be um, modeled after chestnuts and also the real uh, Kuribo. They're supposed to be modeled after either chestnuts or the real Kuribo. Not real Kuribo, but the real legend of Kuribo. Gundam Starkey is the best uh, season. Don't at me. Oh my god, it's an interesting idea. <laughs> Gundam, 
Gundam uh, Starkey. I love how he, he. I like how he does have his own Gundam. You're you're not wrong. I should go heal. Uh oh. I should go ahead and use my Ultra Nova! Fuck you! Get. <laughs> get Orchard, Orcha. Get Cha Cha Cha, Orcha. Um. Frozen over imposing. Telling him by his power level higher being chosen. Messing with the sands to times. Nothing is unknown. In they know just how it started. Like the end. The explosion. Cup, oop, you farted, your mom still gets carded. Oh my god, dang, that's a pretty good, that's a fucking awesome, awesome rap, Pooha. You gotta record that and make millions, Pooha. Oh my god. <laughs> make millions with that! You gotta make millions with that, Pooha. Uh oh, what Spice of Life do? Oh shit, what's that? what is that doing? No, don't heal yourself, no. I'm gonna use free fall on you. Man, he's still, he's still going at it. The citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom were all turned into bricks. Oh yeah, they're also turned into bricks too, that's why I remember that too. Mara is a filthy murderer. Uh, he stomped on some kid's pet tortoise. Yeah! They used to- a lot of them enemies used to, and even the objects, even the objects in the Mushroom Kingdom used to be citizens too, I remember that. That's right, that's right, Yosh. And Void in Metroid. Cha-cha, now y'all. He healed himself with variety. Variety is the spice of life, that's for sure. Can't do the same shit all the, over and over for your whole life, right? Yeah, I need to drink some water. Thanks for reminding me, thanks for reminding me, uh, Meme Lord. So Sir Lynx has gone mad! I told you, he's not Lynx. Ugh, Shaw. I have a feeling I've done something terrible. They saw my gloating as a weakness and used me. I need more discipline. I want to make it up to you. To you. I want. Hey, why? They didn't. He didn't say Cha. Whenever he said up to you, he should have said Cha. I want to make it up to Cha. Whatever. I want you. I want you to take me with you. I want to help. Or to join Cha party. Honestly, as much as as much as I think Orch is a cool character, I don't think he's not that really. He doesn't he doesn't really come off as really cool to me. Like his his strength stats aren't that strong, and then like his magic stats are kind of are they're kind of average. Let's see, yeah, Karsh doesn't have the best magic, but he's still he's still all around pretty good anyway. To, in my eyes, if you look at everyone else's magic, let's see. The bet. Wow, jeez. No, just kidding. She's kind of weak on in the strength of the category. Let's see. So Sprig and Irene's have the best magic, and Harl have the best magic. His magic, it's okay. It's pretty good too. Man, his magic sucks, but he has a really good strength. His magic sucks too, but his his strength is okay. So that's why I like Karsh. His magic isn't that good, but hey, I mean, I like his strength though. Louie gets it. Thanks. Uh, Chabal, he's got a he's got a heal. I never really used him. 
Really? Uh, Orcha has a heal? I didn't know that. Alright, let's go. I will take it upon myself to make sure Riddell leaves the premises safely. Please distract the soldiers while we make our escape. I, lo I, love I would like to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart. I shall be heading to Hermit's Hideaway to take care of my father. Please be sure to stop by when you get the chance. You know, it's so sad. You know, because like, I forgot that I forgot that General Viper survived. I thought he died. But he actually survived. That's that's uh, that's actually pretty nice that he did survive. And then th throughout the whole time, Riddell's been wor uh, been imprisoned here in uh, Viper Manor. You know, it's kind of funny. In Radical Dreamers, she was imprisoned by Lynx in Viper Manor, and then in Chrono Cross, she's also imprisoned, but by the poor soldiers in Viper Manor. She's been imprisoned by her own in her ho own home uh, twice. In the Chrono series. That's pretty interesting. But I'm glad still she's been worried about her father ever since she was imprisoned here. That's that's kind of, that's so fucked up. How they how they didn't let her go and she's and she's wondering if her father's even like recovering or not. That's that's really fucked up to not to like, you know, keep her from seeing her father like that. Please be sure to stop by when you get the chance. Don't worry about us. I'll make sure to wipe out all these poor buffoons. Thank you, Karsh. What do you plan to do after all this? I'll be returning here. Then why don't you join us? Thank you. I am honored. However, as a poor as a soldier of po the poor military, I cannot abandon my country or my men. I will be fine. Thank you. I wish you the best of luck. We must hurry. Goodbye. <laughs> I like how she skid skirt skid uh um. How do, what's that word? Skittles away? She skittles away. Oh, he, he spice of life. He used it in the fight. Yeah, but I wasn't sure if I wasn't sure if that's an actual tech they uses in the game though. So maybe he does use it in the game. You already have Norris anyway, right? Chuck Norris. Do you think he's really named Scuttles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scuttles. That's what I meant. <laughs> Skitters, <laughs> yeah, he scuttled. I like how uh, Riddell uh, scuttles away. That's the what I was looking for. Do you think Norris was named after Chuck Norris? Do you think it really was named after that? That could be a possibility. Where might you off be? Where might you be off to, Sir Lynx? I guess we can't talk our way out of this one. Seize them! Uh-oh. Yeek, eep! Yikes. I guess I'll just do auto battle for this. This shouldn't be too much of a joke. I mean, this shouldn't be too much of a challenge. I love this auto battle. Oh my god, this auto battle saves me so much time. Saves me so much button pressing, too. I love it, I love it. Don't have to press any buttons. Don't have to think! <laughs> See, isn't it nice to have auto battle? And even, it's nice to have no encounters, too. It's nice to have no encounters, too. Arkham, hey, you're up! You are strong. But Grobic is stronger. We'll see about that, bitch. Did you know that your name Cyborg spelled backwards, Grobic? I bet you're not smart enough to, smart enough to know that. He's kind of strong. He's... 
I'm stronger, though. I bet he's not smart to know that his, la his name is Cyborg Backwards. Go do fair uh, free ball on your ass. Na, na, na. Ooh, got you, got you in your Grobic ass, your cyborg ass. Oh, I like, I always liked, I always liked Grobic's uh, uh, <laughs> hair attack. I always liked his hair attack. It's pretty cool. It's so unexpected too. Even though he he does have really you know cool hair, like really. Obst ostentatious hair. You never expect him to like just whip his hair around like that and you know, turn all pink. It's so unexpected. <laughs> the the healing sounds kind of uh, synced with the music. I like that. Milla Rage has not got nothing on um, Robic. Who's 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 Milla Rage? Who's that? Is that supposed to be like a new a new artist, a new singer, like uh, uh like a, a Gen, Gen Z singer that I don't know about? She's a character in Guilty Gear that fights for Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, oh no, don't make me feel irrelevant. Oh no. <laughs> don't make me feel out of loop. Oh, Miller Rage. That she sounds kind of familiar. Figora. Well, let's try Holy Light. Have you ever played God Hand? Have you guys ever played God Hand? I've always wanted to play that game. <gasps> oh my god, he's, he's about to kill my Starkey. I've always wanted to play God Hand. I've seen a streamer play it before. It looks like a fun game. And I think it has like Sentai references too. Like there's like there's a there's a boss you can fight where you fight a bunch of Sentai losers. No, they're actual losers. Like they actually aren't really good Sentai fighters. I think there's supposed to be a parody of, of uh, Power Rangers and Sentai. That's why they're um, that's why they're a joke. Him. I think we got him. No, we didn't get him. Oh, he's so strong. I think I have a lot of healing items. I've played this game a lot of times. Of course, I'm prepared. Let's see, I'll try Inferno. Man, he's so weak. And he's still. Um, he's. St I still haven't beaten him. Oh, now I have. Western Sentai is a joke. Oh no 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 no! I said um. I said that <laughs> they're supposed to make fun of um. No, like the guy, the Sentai, the the Sentai characters in God Hand were, are supposed to be a joke. Oh my gosh! Of course I love Power Rangers. I love Western Sentai. Yay, 
We've got some Power Rangers going on. I love myself some Power Rangers. You know, are there actual DVD or Blu-ray releases for the first few seasons of Power Rangers? Because, like, I don't know. I don't know if if, if um, Saban ever released any... Uh, any any of the shows like the early seasons and on DVD or Blu-ray, they he should he should release all of them in one box collection of all the seasons. I would I would love to watch them all. Well, I mean, at least watch the first few seasons. I don't really. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't I wouldn't really care too much about the later seasons, but at least the first few seasons. You know, I would skip. Okay, so I would skip. I would watch the first few seasons up to Zio. And then I would skip Turbo and then watch it in space. Those are the ones I really liked. Heh heh heh. It's time for this baby. Now go. Go and destroy them. Move it. Gak up yo. Hey, wait! I like how it just walks, tramples over him. The fuck is this? The Gaga P? It's the Gaga P robot. Oh, come on! Stop missing! It's Giyot. 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 I just watched one of the old movies and that's enough for my fix. Oh, you like- did you like- I never saw the Turbo uh, uh, Power Rangers movie. I never- I never thought I, I would like it anyway. Cause it has that little kid ranger. I hated that- I always hated that little kid ranger. He always looked ugly. But I love Power Rangers the movie. That was one of my favorite movies. Even though it was like cheesy as fuck, I still loved it. I watched and I think I watched it in theaters too. I wa I watched it in theaters as a kid too. I loved that show. I mean I love that movie. It was bad, but come come on. You don't watch it because uh for the acting, you watch it because it's cool, right? Wait, how come Starkey has more HP than 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 his total? I didn't. I don't understand that. Why does he have? Why does it? Why does he have more HP? I'm not gonna question it. Multiplies elemental damage. Ooh, let's try magnify. Hopefully, I don't fuck up on something. I think this mo I think this boss is mostly physical anyway. I'll try Ultra Nova. Dang, it did a lot of damage. Oh, I even beat the boss! Of course I don't get a star level after that. Even though it had even though it had boss music, I still don't get a star level. That's stupid. I thought we already destroyed it. Over here. You are the boss. It must be a... Oh. I can't read what it said. It's right behind us. Go up. Keep going. I remember this part. I love this part. <laughs> no, we're trapped. What do we do? We don't have time. Oh no, I have to fight it again! Oh no! Oh well. I'll probably get some more bonus, uh, bonus, uh, points. Or if not, I'll have to get another star level. 
I hate getting one star level after another because it makes me waste not getting um, bonus points. Bonus at bonus. I don't know. Yeah, bonus points. I guess you call it that. I mean, he's not, he wasn't that hard the first time around, so we should be okay. Do Axio Axe! No, 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 no. Let's do this magnifying start with Starkey. Let's try that. You know, when I first played this game, I never really used the buffs or debuffs. I always just, you know, attack and use magic. But now that I'm a... Now that I'm a smarter, uh, smarter person... I try to use my uh, full magic, the, my buff and deep buff magic now. Wait, who had it though? Oh, this car should had it. I mean, I like to, I like to think I'm a smarter person now compared to when I was a kid. I'd say, are you a smarter person, Bowie, or are you more, just more experienced? I think I'm smarter from more the more uh, because I have more experience. You get because like, let's say for example that you don't have um you don't have enough experience. Let's let's just say that you don't have when you were a kid you didn't have enough experience, but because you lacked experience you didn't reach your potential as uh you didn't reach your potential for being an, you didn't reach your your intelligence potential. But once you gain more experience, then you reach more and more of your potential, to, your 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 max potential to to, uh, to be in more intelligent. So I think I'm more. I think it's both. I I gain an, I gain more experience to be smarter. So there you go. To answer your question. You don't have to be old to be wise. Right. I didn't say I didn't say that you have to be old to be wise. But you can. But you can still gain experience. Maybe let's say you gain experience in like you know. In a few months, then you're wiser. You're wiser and smarter in just a few months. You don't have to be really old to be wise, though. Because I've met a lot of stupid old people. I've met a lot of stupid old people, so... Yeah. You can gain more experience in, in, a, in a short time, and you can become, become, become wiser that way. I'm just pointing Judas Priest, L Oh, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> There's a button that lowers the ladder inside the shelf. Hurry, you have little time. Oh, I see, I see, um, Metroid. Yeah, I met a lot of stupid old people. <laughs> yeah, a lot of stupid boomers, and a lot of, and a lot, I mean, not gonna lie, there's, like, a lot of stupid, when I worked at my old job over the phone, when I had to work over the phone at my old job, I met a lot of stupid old people. Like, the, uh, there's a lot of stupid middle-aged people, too. Usually the people I dealt with are really old. Step aside. Don't be foolish. Step aside. Don't be foolish. There comes Grobic to save the day. Look at him. He's a total Chad. He's a total Chad bot. Unbelievable. Over here, they're up here. Get, we got him now. This is endless. Break through the window. Do it now. Just like in Chrono Trigger. Just like whenever uh, Marl broke through the window in Chrono Trigger. This is a reference to Chrono Trigger? Probably. Ew! We're in the dragon, dragon rider, bar, uh, ranch thing. What the? Where did you come from, Sir Lynx? Sounds like you ran into some trouble up there. What are you gonna do? The poor soldiers are all over the place. Take them all on. No, he 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 he. Oh, that. Ha 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 ha. This should be interesting. Okay, leave it to me. I love this part. Hey, what's up, Texas Size? Not enough, not enough, Texas Size. But hey, 
<clears throat> Welcome to the chat. We're playing some Chrono Cross right now. I remember you. I remember you from Globe's channel. How's career casting? I mean, I don't really consider it a career. I just, I just play. I just stream for fun. But yeah, what's up, Texas size? Uh, I'm just quoting Judas Priest. Yeah, I've met a lot of stupid people. You're a boomer, booey. I'm not a boomer a millennial. I'm an, I'm an aging millennial. What do the writers have against beautiful stained glass windows? I don't know. They, they, they always have to ruin them in Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross. You know, Matt, Matt Bluber? Of course I do. He used to come by here all the time, Globe Man. This is great. You're. Why did you save us? You oppose the foreign military. Grobic finds that interesting. Grobic only takes orders from one who is stronger. I'm an aging millennial. Nice. You're an aging millennial too, Metroid. You you fit. You actually fit the aging a uh the millennial gap. You're part of the millennial demographic. You're aging too, Metroid. You, you, I wouldn't be talking. I'm not the only old per. Oh, I'm not old either, though. But to be honest, though, I don't. I don't think I'm old, though. You're in the same demographic as me, Metro. I wouldn't be talking. But yeah, I do know. I do know Globe as well, Texas, and also Fubar. I know Fubar as well. Thus, Grobic will join you in your battle. Grobic joins your party. You are young and handsome. Thank you. See, see, Texas knows who I knows what's what what's go uh what's up. He knows what's up. See, I still look like I'm 15. There's this one guy <laughs> who told me, there's this one guy who told me that uh, I look 15. I'm like, okay, whatever. I thought that was too young, Are though. You still following me? Do I oh, and scream? also Texas, you might you might know who I am. I used to go by um, I used to have I used to go by this one username that was coffee related. I used to be called What a Great Coffee, but thank you. Uh, but yeah. Whoever that was, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you, whoever that was. I wonder who that was. We do anonymous follows, so yeah, definitely uh, come, come hang out and, and lurk. Thank you, thank you, Texas. It was me. I knew it. I knew it was you, Texas. I mean, I mean, really, really, it was you, Texas. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I used to be. I used to go by what a great coffee. I, used, I actually came by your channel a, a few times too, but I don't think you stream that much anymore though. Cause I, I remember your when I came to your channel, you, I I told you I'm from I was also from Texas too, and then you also own a construction company. You live in California now, right? And you own a, a, a construction company in California, but you used to be from Texas, right? I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> You do. Right, I remember all that shit. Call upon Grobic whenever you need help. Do any of you guys use Grobic though? Do any of you guys use Grobic? Let's escape while we still can. There should be a boat ready. Let's head to Hermit's Hideaway. You have an impressive memory. I do. It's I've I haven't really. I mean. Who who can forget those massive muscles? Who can forget those massive muscles in your profile pic? Oh my god, that's pretty. You have some pretty massive muscles. You you don't forget a name like Texas size, right? You don't forget a name like that. I do have a good memory. Thank you. Yeah, but I've been, I've been, um, I've been streaming since 2018. I, I haven't been streaming as long as other people, but I've been streaming for a good chunk, though. I never really used Grobic. How come you changed your name? Um, because I feel like What a Great Copy doesn't really fit, like, what the kind of games that I play. It doesn't really fit the kind of games that I play, and, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> so... Because I really want to make sure that, you know, people know what kind of games I play, so... But the thing is, though, B. Bowie doesn't either. I want I wanted to change my username to fit who I am. 
So, you know. So Bowie sounded a lot better. Well, I'm actually, but uh, Texas size, I'm actually going to change my username again. I'm going to change it one more time. Oh my god, Metro, you're so silly. I'm going to change, so I'm, uh, pretty soon, once I get my new emote, and once we start the Zelda Marathon, I'm going to be changing my username one again. <laughs> so, I changed it back in 2021. Now I'm going to change it in 2023. But it's a secret. You'll find out soon in a couple of months. Oh my god, you guys are so silly. Oh, right, we need to go to Hermit's Hideaway, I think. No, we need to go to Gold Up. We need to go to Gold Up as well. Bowie's new username and aging millennial. Shut the fuck up, Metroid. Shut the fuck up. You're, you, you're, you're an aging, you're, you're... Oh my god, ooh! I'll hey, make you age even- I'll make you age even more if you don't shut the fuck up, Metroid. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're an aging millennial. You're- you're also aging, uh, you'll, you're age- you're faster than- yeah, you're gonna age faster if I don't- if you don't shut the fuck up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bowie's new username, lol, beautiful. Oh my god, not a boomer Bowie. That should be fun. Not a boomer. I'm not- I don't even- I don't even look that- I even look younger than you. I even look younger than you, Metroid. What the fuck are you talking about? Old fart Metroid. L old fart- You should be old fart hatchling. Yeah, old fart hatchling. That's your- that's your username. Let's see. Surge, isn't there- Surge, isn't there something strange about this village? Mm, what's going on? People are gathering over there. Let's go find out what's up. Bowie angry. You bet I am. Bowie ruthless, I know. Poor soldiers in a small village like this? But something's odd, and who's that lady? You dare resist the poor military? So what if I resist? Why don't you stop hiding behind your men and try to stop me stop me yourself? I'll make you regret that. Alright, you go! Seize that girl! Why me, sir? Arr, don't talk back. This is a direct order. Get on with it. On the double. He's all scared. You heard us. Seized your resistance. A woman should be more gentle and ladylike. Are you scared of? Oh my god. Even he's even he, he even he knows she's stronger than him. There, that'll teach you a lesson, oh great soldier man. Or do you need another round? He's all scared. Why, isn't this Sir Lynx? We can't arrest this girl on our own. Please help us, sir. There are more of you, but you're still no match for me. Leave this village now. She should be easy. Did you guys ever use Orla? I don't think I used Orla either. I don't think I've ever used Orla. Cause honestly, Orla kinda comes kinda comes across as kinda boring to me. I never used Doc, I never used Orla, or any of the or, or any of the Chuff uh Chuff family. I never used any of the Chuff Chuff the Chuff family. That's how that's what I call them. Not Orcha, not Matcha, or even Porcha. Oh, dang. Ooh. 
I still want to get. I still need to get the green tinkler. Hey, stupid! <gasps> oh my! Who are you calling stupid? Who are you calling stupid, Metroid? You better be calling yourself. Disappointed! Failure. You're. I bet you're calling. Don't. That Metroid. Boy ain't right. Don't don't be so hard on yourself, Metroid. Don't be so hard on yourself. I know Are you're you blind or something. I know you're saying that you're stupid and disappointed in your failure and that you're not right bitch. and you're and you're blind and you're a bitch to yourself. But you gotta keep you gotta you gotta stop being so hard on yourself. You're me punk. Don't be so hard on yourself, Metroid. I know I know you have lots of problems, but you gotta t you gotta t take care of yourself. Do some self uh, self care. Go. Gotta do some self care, Metroid. <laughs> huh? Radio. What's going on with that radio? Oh my god. Ugh, let me get some water real quick. All right. Let me get some water. That was too close. You were almost a jibble sandwich. Go glug glug. Alright, did you get that out of your system, Metroid and everyone? Oh my god. Oh my god! There you go. All right, I drank up. I drank a bunch. There you go. <clears throat> Let's, Let's go. go. <clears throat> Let's see. I think you, Metro, I think you've had too many potatoes. <laughs> I think you've had too many uh, air fried potatoes. <laughs> that's why that's why you're so hyper right now. Gotta lay off those air fried potatoes, Metroid. <laughs> you're also an eight <laughs> Yeah. Dang these cartwheel kicks. I know she's pretty strong. I need more potatoes! I gave a bunch to Charlie. Oh my god, I bet I bet Charlie is gonna be I bet he's like biting uh, people because of you. He's gonna, be, he's gonna be biting the furniture and he's gonna be chewing on the furniture, he's gonna be bouncing off the walls, he's gonna be chasing after um, intruders because of all the potatoes he ate too. Did you did we did we teach you a lesson yet, Orla? Oh no, Orla hasn't taught uh, wasn't taught a lesson yet. Oh my god. Dang, she's has she's quite spunky. She has a lot of fight in her. Let's go ahead and feral catch her. Okay, now we now we got the fight out of her. You're a potato, Metroid. Gasp, Void. Ooh, oh my god, you got- Ooh, you got Metroid. Ooh, you insulted him. See? I- <laughs> I call him all sorts of stuff, but that, but if you call Metroid a potato, uh, on, uh, based off of the stuff he, uh, yeah, if- Because he ate- eats potatoes, right? You call him a potato himself, he gets insulted. That's his weakness. That's being called a potato. Masterful work, Sir Lynx. I knew we could count on you. Oh my gosh. Thank you for your troubles. Please leave the, re leave the rest of us. We will take her into custody and send her to her at headquarters. 
Wait! Starkey order you and your troops to return to headquarters! We will take care of this girl! This village will be under Sir Lynx's com command until further notice! Report that back to High Command! Command! But that'll be too much trouble for you. <laughs> Didn't you hear? This is, a, this is an order from your superior officer. If you disobey, you will be court-martialed. Do I make myself clear? Y yes sir. We will gather the troops and head back to headquarters at once, sir. Let's see. At least I'm not a boomer. At least I'm not a, uh... Clueless, b clueless millennial like you. Oh, at least I'm not a clueless millennial. Easy explanation for Hatchling's uh, smallness is a potato. Not a boomer, booey, a little potato, patat. You say that you're really Surge, even though you're in a different body? I don't know what happened, but you need to get back to your true self. I cannot believe it. Is it possible that such a thing can occur? Hey, even you should not get up so soon. Are you alright? Even though you're a, trained, you're a trained fighter, you should refrain from pushing yourself too hard. I'll be fine, but I almost bit the big one this time. Haha. <laughs> Looks like I'm in looks like I'm in need of more training. Ooh, that hurts. As proof that you're really surge when you're when you regain this true form, I will lend you this brooch. Surge received the sapphire brooch. Orla, is that your sister's? It's alright for now. Listen, Surge, promise me this. When you successfully regain your true form, come visit me. I will glad I will gladly aid you then. Be careful on the road. Hardship is a constant companion on a journey, but please keep your heads up. I have caused much trouble for you dudes with this incident. As a doctor, I find it embarrassing. I assume you're going to continue your journey. Try not to take too many risks. Or less so cool. One must live strongly because life is limited. You like Orla? I should go ahead and check out Orla then, if I have time. I wonder how many patients uh, Doc gets daily. Since he's like a since he's like a surfer doctor, I don't think he probably gets that many many patients. He probably surfs more than he docks, right? Probably surfs more than he docks. Give me one second. Oh, here we go. I have a twin sister. Her name is Tia. Oh yeah, I remember getting the green tinkler from her. According to the legends, twins are a sign of, trage of tragedy. When I was a child, I was separated from my mother and sister, who left El Nido. I only had my father. I felt as if half of my body was had been lost. There, had, there was a huge void in my heart. <laughs> I never told this story to anyone before. Strange. Sometimes I really feel that there are countless worlds, and I am not the only one. Does this sound odd? Excuse me, the what? Wait, what did I say? What did you say? Hey! What if they did call him Doc, not because he's a doctor, but because he serves by the docks? Oh, shit. That's a good point. That's a very good point, um, Void. But not- but that might be- but that might just be running away from reality. The one thing that always helped me when I felt weak was this sapphire brooch. It is a token that's been passed down through generations in my family. It is cracked in half now. One half belongs to me and the other to my sister <laughs> Tia. I'm a green tinkler. I'm a brown tinkler too, if you know what I mean. Oh, the green tinkler. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're supposed to get the green tinkler from Orla. She has a green tinkler, if you know what I'm saying. You don't have to return it just yet. This blue gem. 
This is the only one that exists in this world. That means it is proof you're the real Surge. So, please keep it with you until you have regained your true identity. Haha, <laughs> you. Oh my god. <laughs> That's right, get, get disgusted. Ooh, diarrhea, you should eat more starches. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I don't get diarrhea. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Okay, let's see if I get. She gives me the green tinkler. Someday I'll find my sister Tia. Somewhere, somehow. She doesn't give me the green tinkler. What the heck? For crying out loud. For crying out loud, how many times do I have to tell you not to come behind the count? Hey, you're an unfamiliar face, but you're just a customer as well. So out you go. You're in my way. Man, I didn't get I didn't get the stupid tinkler. I guess we're supposed to get it in the beginning of the game. Oh well. Man, I came all the way here for nothing. I came all the way here to get the stupid tinkler and I, didn't, I wasn't able to get it. I guess you have to... I'll, I'll, I'll probably do it on my next playthrough. Okay, so where to now? So what happens if I go this way? Let's see what happens. Oh, it's sealed off. Oh, interesting. I didn't know there's. I didn't see those statues were over there. Oh, that's right. We need to go go to Hermit's Hideaway. Oh, you can't really do anything on this patch of soil. Oh, let's go visit General Viper. <laughs> halt! Hey, Gramps. No, Radius. He's not Sir... I mean, he's not Lynx. So you mean to tell me that you're really Surge? Oh my god, throughout this whole game, we have to keep explaining to everyone that he's not he's not Lynx. So there's so many times we have to explain that he's not Lynx, but I mean, it, it's it's kind of natural that people will be, will be, um, will be, you know, um, will be under alert when they see someone like Lynx come by, right? Hmm. This is hard to take in so suddenly, but... I do not sense Lynx's evil within you. I heard what happened. I just couldn't believe it with, until I saw it with my own eyes. Oh, and thank you for saving Miss Riddell. I am very grateful. Mm, look at that. Ooh, look at that beefcake or uh, Zoa. I am not used to being pursued. <clears throat> Ooh, he's so hot. Mmm, yummy. Yummy, is it yummy Zoa, yummy? Surge, right? Um, like, I'm sorry for everything. I like, is, is that, is Surge like petting her? Is that, that's kind of weird like to pet a child like that. That's so weird. Thank you kindly for everything, Surge. I have heard much of what has happened. We cannot allow Lynx to carry on like this. Are you, I owe you a debt of gratitude, so I would like to fight alongside you. I may be inexperienced in battle, but I hope you will find me helpful. Riddell joins your party! You seem very tired. I recommend that you rest. Would you like to rest? No, not yet. I want to talk to General Viper. 
Come on, let me talk to him. Wait, oh my god. Why can't I talk to him? Fine, I'll go ahead and rest. Oh yeah, this is part, this part, I remember this part. What the? The have come. You look much better, Daddy. He's sleeping. I want to bother him. I want to talk to him. I want to bother him. Sorry to worry you. All thanks to Marcy. Sorry to trouble you like this, Marcy. Looks like I worried everyone as well. Ah, damn. Show your, show your face, Lynx. Your nine lives are up. I recognize that voice. Indeed. Kid. Wait, Surge. Oi, Lynx. Today's the day I finish you off. Are you alright? She's quite serious. And I have a bad feeling about this. She doesn't seem to be herself. Oh my god, look at- Oh my god, this, this actually doesn't look that bad. This, this, uh, new portrait for Surge, or late evil, evil Surge, or whatever links, this new portrait doesn't look that bad. What do you guys think? It does look too anime, though. It does look too anime, but it doesn't look that bad, though. I actually like it. Honestly, I like it better than the old portrait. I like it better than the old portrait. I just don't like the whole Fang thing. I don't like the whole... This is way... It is way better. I just don't like the whole Fang thing to reference the fact that he used to be, you know, an, an, uh, like a demi-human. I don't like the Fang thing. <laughs> yes, she is indeed, kid. However, right now, you're the one who is Lynx. And I am Surge. Once our roles were reversed, so were our problems. To her, killing you will avenge Luca. This is way better. Yeah, it's way better. I think it's way better. Right, kid? Yeah, I'll put an end to, to Lynx today and avenge Luca. Search, I think we better retreat for now. Give it up. We have this shack completely surrounded. There's no way we can escape. We'll see about that. Arr, we'll see about that. Surge, hop on! Damn, they got away! <laughs> anyway, this is only the beginning of everything. You know, I think the new portrait... I think the new portrait looks... Doesn't it look a lot bigger? I, th I feel like they made the portrait bigger, way bigger. Yeah, I love Fargo. Daddy Fargo's hot. I love Fargo. Mm. Mm, I love me some Daddy Fargo. Good work, Polly. I can Well then. Captain, the others are safely aboard. Good, good. Sling 120. Oh my gosh. Oh, you almost got it. You almost got it, Void. You were very close. Hey, Surge. How about you and me team up for a while? Oh, all these memories he has about Kid. That's so sad. For crying out loud, would you just shut up and get on with it? I'm gonna kick your ass. Sorry, Austin. So hard to kiss the moons. Just you wait, Lynx. Today is gonna be the day of reckoning. Say your prayers. Not that I'll do you any good. Oh no! Not that part! No! I don't wanna see that! I've had it up to you here. I've had it up to here with you. Yeah, I know. This is the end of you, Link. Say your prayers. No! Rip K. 
kid. I know, Metroid. I know. I'm so sad. All these memories, you know, that Surge is thinking about, it makes me sad. That he really has... That he really cares about, you know, kid. Surge? Tell me, what is the most important thing in your life? Ask yourself what you can do and what you need to do in order to attain it. If not you, then whom? If not now, then when? Right, Serge? So what are we doing here now? Links, not... Wait, hold on. Links, not... The captain already told us about you. But no matter how you look at it, you do look like Lynx. I guess I have to go talk to Fargo. Ahoy, mateys, how goes it? Uh, we're just, we're just about, we're just dropping by. Oh yeah, the captain was looking for ya. I'll get in deep trouble if I let you leave. Well, I can't even leave anyway. Sorry to hear about what happened, but just keep your distance, eh? Viper, let's settle this old score once and for all. Oh yeah, okay, so... I was reading some shit about Chrono Cross, uh, uh, uh like, a, like, a, um, the other week ago. I was reading some, like, uh, Chrono Cross shit, and I found out that Viper... Um, I mean, Fargo used to be an Acacia Dragoon. They're, like, you don't really get, you don't really understand why they're, they they have a beef with each other. But I read up that, um, the reason why Fargo and Viper are having a fight right now is because, um, uh, Fargo used to be an Acacia Dragoon. That's why he's so skilled in battle. And that, that explains why, that explains why Marcy is, um, is left in Viper Manor to be uh, raised by Viper, Lord Viper and in his in his family, that makes a lot of sense why Marcy's there, and that's I mean when you find out why Marcy and is is actually you know Fargo's um, daughter, and, and you you kind of wonder why I'm like how did she end up being with the Acacia Dragoons you know, and then you and then you had to read the ultimate I guess you have to read the Ultimania but guide. On Chrono Cross about what happened with the backstory and all that. <coughs> There's so much story that gets left out. And then you have to end up resorting to an Ultimania guide that, that's only sold in Japan. It's only sold in Japan. And it's in Japanese. So it's really hard for you to understand the story. Serge doesn't make any attempt to go undercover after the body swap. Link's changed Serge's clothes. Um, so why can't Serge wear something else? I know, right? Why can't he wear something else? Why can't... Well, I mean, it's really it's going to be really hard to hide his face, too. I mean, he would have to need a human face mask thing. But I don't think that'll work. Prepare yourself. Is that you, Surge? Fargo, our duel will have to wait. I need to have a talk with Surge. <laughs> have it your way. Surge, Lynx has headed to the Sea of Eden. We must do everything in our power to prevent him from obtaining the frozen flame. I shall lend a hand. We must put a stop to him. Cool. General Viper joined our, our party. General Viper, yay! Arg, what the hell? Aye, Surge. I'll help you out, too. You saved me life twice already. And I guess I already don't know too much. I can't just sit around and ignore the situation. Fargo joined your party! He looks like a streamer. He, oh my god, he looks just like a streamer I, I, I watch. <laughs> the, 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 likeness is, the likeness is very uncanny. He looks just like a streamer I, I watch. Viper, I'll deal with you later. Once we put an end to this situation, you're mine. Very well, I will not run from you. I'll be happy to accept your challenge. Wait! We're coming to... 
So I'm not sure. Okay, is, does Marcy know that? Does Marcy know that Fargo is um her father? That's what I wonder. That's that's why I wonder if Marcy knows that by now. I hope that's okay with you, Serge. Marcy like joined your party. Yeah, Marcy knows. You don't even know this. You don't, you, you haven't even played this game, Frodo. What the fuck? <laughs> I too would like to help. There's no point in my not fighting. Plus, you saved Miss Riddell. Accept this gesture as a token of my appreciation. Zoa joined your party. Wow, we got like four fucking party members all at once. Shall we be? Shall we be on our way, Serge? That doesn't mean I don't know if she knows. I don't know if she finds out. Yeah, I don't know either. It's kind of funny seeing her them next to each other, and they don't even know. Of course, of course, I'm not... I'm going to keep my party member... Well, let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's see. So let's take a look at... Fargo's not even that strong. Jeez. Wow, Fargo kind of sucks. Fargo's stats kind of suck. Grobix? Uh, Grobix... His kind of suck too, wow. It's kind of suck. And then, uh, let's take a look at Viper. Wow, he's pretty, he's pretty bad too. Jeez, they all suck. They're all, they're all piss poor. They're all awful. Marcy, ooh. What? Actually, she's not that bad. Marcy's not that bad. She's more like, she's all, she's probably all around, general purpose, you know? She's not that bad. Her magic's okay. I don't know if she finds out, or if she already knows, Fargo can steal. Oh, that's right, we do need Fargo. Oh, shit. Oh, we need, oh, man. Of course, the people you use who get the stat ups are way stronger. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But still. But I thought, I, I also thought no! that the char I also thought that the sideline people, like the bench, the bench characters also get stat bonuses too. I thought they also get stat bonuses if they're not being used. But I guess that's not the case, never mind. That's what I thought, but never mind. Hmm. I mean, I don't really want to sideline Stark. I don't want to bench Stark you though. But Fargo does have steel. Plus, they have uh, your better gear, right? And also, I bet, I bet you want me to get use Fargo because you know you like Fargo. He's one. He's your. He's your daddy, right? I bet you want me to use Fargo because he's the because you like daddy you like you like daddy Fargo. I mean, I do need a I do need a thief, but when's it, do I do I really need to steal though? Oh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and use up Fargo. Let's let's use him. The thing is though, I like Starkey and all, but I like Far I mean, I want to try out Fargo too. My bias has nothing to do with it. I'm sure, I'm sure, sure you do. <laughs> sure it doesn't. Do you know how to get through here? You wish to know? This place is called the Pearly Gates. Mm. This used to be the only entrance to the Sea of God, Sea of Eden. However, legend says no one has been able to see it or approach it since the dragons uh, sealed the evil flame. Then how are we supposed to get in? You need the power the dragons that sealed the flame. You must break the seal of the pearly gates. 
with relics from each of the six dragons. Relics? Break the seal? You mean here? None. The true key to the, to the Sea of Eden is not here. It is in the other world where the Dead Sea lies. So, where are we supposed to find the six dragons? You'll find them scattered around both worlds. They will be easy to find with all the legends about dragons throughout the islands. I feel like they reach. I feel like the 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 text from this game is mostly. I think it's been retranslated, right? Because I don't really remember. I don't really remember um, Harl having so saying so many Z sounds. Yeah, it feels like it's been retranslated. Do you, don't, don't you guys think so too? Like the, like the tech. Cause like remember how we were in, in one part of Chrono Cross, we saw like um, cat cat on a hot tin roof. It wasn't like uh, Snap didn't really call it cat, cat on a hot tin roof anymore. Remember how you pointed that out, Void? It must this this text must have been retranslated whenever they ported this game to the Switch and remastered it. Oh, and Monsieur Lynx, the other Monsieur Lynx, disguised as Surge, is already in here. That is because his appearance is that of Surge. What do you mean? Even if you're hey! able, even if you're, even if you are able to get all six dragon relics, you will not be able to make it inside as Monsieur Lynx. Then what are we supposed to do? The Dragon Tear. That is all I can tell you. Now it's my turn to ask one question. Mercy Lynx. If you had to choose between the world or moi, which would you choose? Oh shit, what kind of what, which which one should I answer? Yeah, they did. Yeah, she didn't have all those Z's in the original. Shut the man. Yeah. Frodo, Frodo, do you want me to do you want me to have you shut the fuck up faster, just like I did with Metroid? Man, me you better make you better shut the fuck up fast, or I'll make you shut the fuck up just like I did with Metroid. <laughs> just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Metroid. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see who who can raid, cause like I'm, I'm we actually are nearing the end of the game. I mean, I'm nearing the end of the stream. Nearing the end of the stream, as I meant. I don't even know what happened. If I recall correctly, this choice doesn't matter. Yeah, I know. I know it doesn't matter, but yeah, I'll pick Harley Harl. Ooh, Messi. Even if it is a lie. <laughs> she's so she's she's so flirty. <laughs> I think this, is a, this will be a good stopping point, though. I think it's a good stopping point. I wish you well. There's this guy we can raid. His name is V Bui. He is live now. Oh, really? I bet he's a really cool. I bet he's a really cool and awesome streamer. I bet he's really handsome. I bet he has a really, you know, big green tinkler too. He has a, he has a big green tinkler. He has some really cool viewers. He has some really cool viewers, except for that one annoying Metroid. I I bet he has a really annoying viewer that's named like uh, Aging Metroid too. <laughs> aging Metroid, aging Aging Metroid uh, Geriatric, <laughs> Geriatric. Yeah. <laughs> I bet he has a really annoying Metroid like that. That that who's named like that. Yeah, but all his other viewers, all his all of his other viewers are pretty cool. Even even uh, Troll Doe Sagbag LOL. Why well, must I have to tell him such things? You are such an idiot, Harl. What's wrong, Harl? There is fluid coming out of your eyes. I like how he just flies up onto the railing. <laughs> Ooh, it's you, Stucky. I like how he flies up. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Something is different. Starkey can tell. Harl's makeup doesn't look the same today. 
Starkey don't think it's nothing like you say. Why do you lie to me, Harl? The con. Okay, okay. I guess I cannot fool you. What are you saying about me? I said, I said that we're about to raid uh, another streamer named B Booey, and uh, all of his viewers are pretty cool except for that one annoying Metroid named uh, Aging Metroid Geriatric. So yeah, Metroid Geriatric. Is that is, you know, yeah, you're, you're also <laughs> you're also annoying too. But there's a really annoying one called. Uh, Metroid Geriatric, Metroid Elder, Metroid Old Oldie, that's that's his name. We're gonna raid. We're gonna raid B Booey. So, um, scheming Red recommended that I raid B Booey, but yeah. Uh, there's another. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding though. Listen, Stucky, this is called a tear. It's something that blows from your eyes. Not a lament when you are sad. When you are, when you hurt. Tear. To cry? So, water comes out from eyes when you're sad? Also, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Starkey does remind me of you, Metroid. He does remind me of you. Look at those innocent eyes. Look at that. He does. He has seen the future. It was foretold by Gyromancy. Yeah, but foretold by my Gyromancy. I, I, bet, I, I bet you want, guys want a Gyromancy with me. And no, I'm just kidding. Are you sad so you can wash your face with tear? <sighs> Go to sleep, Stocky. And don't tell anyone I was crying. You promised you will not tell. Starkey, like promises. Starkey will promise not to tell anyone that Harl was crying. Wait a minute. Crying means that Harl is sad. But why? Even though we are close, I cannot tell you that. You will find out eventually, Stucky, if that time comes. I love doing Harl's voice. Every problem has a solution, I hope. <laughs> okay, that's a good stopping point. We're, we can go ahead and stop here. Wait, 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 wait. I want to get... Mm. No, I want to go get... I want to get draggy. How long will it take to get draggy? <laughs> we'll go back to home real quick and try to get draggy. You call me Boomer? You call me Boomer again? I'm going to ban you into Boomer Oblivion. I'm going to ban you, ban, ban you into Boomer Oblivion, Metroid. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't even look that old. I look way younger than you. Anyway. Let's see. I think it's in the home dimension that we can actually get um draggy, right? In in I think it takes a trek, hopefully. Let's find out. <laughs> I think it's in the home world we can actually um Oh, that's right. We do need to go through the dungeon. Let's find out. Oh, crap. We do. We'll just go through real quick. We'll just go through real quick. Oh, yeah. We can also turn on known encounters, too. That's duh. <laughs> ha. A Star Trek. Good thing we can actually turn off no encounters. <laughs> you got the egg, right? And you gotta take it to a dungeon? Yeah, we have to take it to here in Mount Pyre. <laughs> so it shouldn't be take too long. Because I think it's over here. Oh no! We have to go through all this shit. Oh no, we have to go through all this shit, though. 
Oh no. Well, let's see if I can do it really quick, though. You know what? Fuck it, fuck it. I think we're just gonna go ahead and call it a stream. Nah, it's too, it's too much trouble. We'll just call it a stream. We'll save this for tomorrow. We'll save this for tomorrow. And then I guess we'll also get go through this dungeon so we don't have to do it later on. For tomorrow's stream. Yeah, we'll do this for tomorrow's stream. We'll go through the whole dungeon tomorrow. We'll go through uh, Homeworld's um, Fort Dragonia tomorrow morning. Alright, let's go ahead and save. And this, is a, this is a good stopping point. It's been a fun stream, everyone. Thank you so much for coming by. Uh, thank you for being annoying, Metroid. <laughs> thank you for coming by. Uh, Void, Frodo, Metroid, Scheming. Uh, uh, I said Frodo, right? Yo uh, scheming, Yoshio. Let's see, who else? Who else? Uh, AT Rock. Uh, let's see. Thank you so much for the raids. Uh, Metroid Hatchling, Jordy Boy. Thank you so much for the follows. Thank you so much for coming by cooking. Uh, let's see. Who else? Who else? Texas, thank you so much for coming by. And AT Rock. And Yoshi. I said Yoshio. Uh, who else? Who else is here? Um, I forget who else was here. Oh, yeah. Ray. Ray was here. Um. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, Pooha, Pooha, and and Meme Lord, Meme Lord. Yes, Meme Lord was here. There's a lot of people that uh, that I need a name. But yeah, we'll go go ahead and raid someone. Let's go ahead and raid. Who should I raid tonight? We'll go ahead and raid. Mm. <laughs> we'll go ahead and raid Moolala. If not Moolala, I don't know else, I don't know anyone else who can raid. I think we'll raid Moolala. <laughs> yeah, we'll go ahead and raid her. She's pretty cool. She's still streaming too, and she's a Bay Area people. She's a Bay Area, um, um, she's a Bay Area person, just like me. But thanks for coming by, everyone. Let me go ahead and give you, uh, let me go ahead and put in my show, uh, socials. No! You know, you ain't streaming right now. If I, I'm gonna stream to, I'm gonna raid to no one. Frodo. Stop being a trolldo. But yeah, thanks for coming by, everyone. Uh, before we go, before we raid Moolala, um, come follow me on my, um, on, t come follow me on Twitch. Click on, click on, click on the heart icon to do so. And, um, also follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. To, for funny moments and highlights, to know when I go live, to, for what I'm up to. Discord for anime movie nights. Come join me on that too in the links above in the chat. Um, and yeah, let's, it's been a fun stream, guys. I'll, I'll try to stream tomorrow morning. We'll see. Uh, I probably don't have anything to do tomorrow anyway, so I'll probably do an early stream. But thanks for coming by, everyone. You have, it's been a fun stream every, uh, having y'all hang out. And... I do appreciate y'all coming out, coming by, and being being an awesome friend. So, um, hope you hope we have more awesome friend streams in the future too. G -G. Yes, GG. So um, let's go ahead and do our raid. Um, what are we going to raid? I mean, what what's our raid message going to be? You have a good night too. Don't don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. So let's see. We let's see. What is what's our raid going to be? Raid message going to be. Um, Let's go dragon hunting. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's go dragon hunting. That's what it, that's what our raid message is gonna be. That's a good one. Oh, green tinkler. Yeah, 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 yeah. Green, let's, let, let's, 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 um, let's see, yeah, 
Got a got a green tinkle. Got a green tinkle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got a green tinkle. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Here we go. If you're not subscribed, you can use you can use whatever emotes you want for that. <laughs> got a green tinkle. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and raid Moolah. Let's go ahead and give her some love. And thank you so much, guys, for coming by. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for coming by, everyone. Let's go ahead and raid some Moolala. 